Yeah, okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Briefly started the podcast uh, under the Divinity titles from yesterday's stream, but, you know, that's bound to happen. Um, Professional streamers, by the way. Yep. But here we are. This is the Three Heads Are Worse Than One podcast. Uh, I'm here with my friends... Episode 6. Episode 6, correct. I'm here with my friends Ryobi Mm -hmm. and RJ. And, um... Yeah, we're still (laughs) honestly trying to get back in rhythm because of that uh, interruption. And yeah, I we got take... thrown off a bit because we got a <laughs> special schedule here. Yeah. We actually are streaming two weeks in a row. Oh, yeah. We will not be able to make our usual time next yeah. week. And why is that, Ryobi? You piece of uh, garbage. I'm going, I'm going on a trip. Oh, yeah. In your favorite no rocket trip? What? You said you're you going might... on a trip in your favorite rocket ship? No, just a plane. Uh, plane I don't think trip. I have a favorite plane. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess I like the 747 because it's big. Mm, my grandparents both, well, step-grandparents both worked for Boeing. I thought you were going to say they both, like, owned a 747. I was like, what? No, no, I'm not that. Uh... They actually had a favorite plane? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they got, like, oh, three planes. Favorite but... <laughs> plane, easy. SR-71 Blackbird. Coolest plane ever. My favorite plane mm. is, um... Is uh, that paper plane where they like fold up the tips at the end? Those are pretty cool. Isn't that like most planes? Paper airplanes? No, only the cool kids would do it at my school. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I used to make like a boxy one. Yeah, that's what... you just like fold up the front end until it's like a inch thick, and then it's just like a stubby wing, yeah. and you just kind of like throw. Yeah. I was or I was horribly garbage at um. At paper airplanes and still am. Yeah, same here. I wear it like a badge of honor. <laughs> Gotta look up the all the secrets online. I think I had a book on how to make them. That was the kind of thing. With um, I think a lot of people are pretty shitty at paper airplanes. I remember um, both both Markiplier and Game Grumps mm-hmm. did like a challenge um where they would create paper airplanes and like given a certain amount of time and then like throw them against each other mm-hmm. and in both videos the best paper airplane was just a wadded ball of paper <laughs> The best something <laughs> made in two seconds. No, <laughs> they were able to throw that farther than than anyone could than anyone could throw a like regular. Not anyone, period, but like anyone in the video could throw like a regular paper airplane. I'm pretty I mean, sure. Yeah, it's, it's about gliding, not I'm, about like. I'm, I'm pretty sure the world record for a paper airplane is just like it's just like a cylinder. Is the is the most effective yeah, paper airplane? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you seen those ones where it's like somebody makes like a very like whatever flimsy? I don't know, maybe it's a cylinder, but it's it's like very thin and not too like specific of a design. Uh-huh. But they just hold like a board behind it and just walk forward, and then like the, dra- the air drafting off that just makes them be able to walk around with it and float in front of them. Oh wow, that's cool. That's wild. Damn. You guys haven't seen um, that? No. I had like I had like a pair paper airplane like book that had like like cuts and like in- instructions and like ba- basically like like it would like folding instructions and stuff like that and i remember i made one the best flying one i made from that book was this really like long kind of rectangular one mm-hmm. and it it flew really like really smoothly interesting and I always tried to, I always tried to remake it, but like I must have, like, you lost the like, magic. Not remembered, yeah, not remembered what the like secret knack is to making it. And mine would always just like essentially, essentially just be barely folded paper that would like immediately unfold and fall to the ground the second you let loose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you can always cheat and use tape. <laughs> yeah real men anyway um we were going to talk about magnus carlson he ah. had some news yeah so like the, the five-time champion 
Yeah, so he he's won the world championship of chess, the world chess championship, uh, for uh five times on the trot now. Um, and uh, he was he was gonna do a rematch against the guy he beat last year, Jan. I'm gonna butcher his name. It's it's Jan Nep Nep. It's just some it's some it's some Eastern European guy. Yeah, <laughs> Jan Nep Nep. They call him Nepo. <laughs> But um, he he decided to he decided to walk away. Of... <laughs> he de he decided to walk away. I think mostly because he was just um very bored out. with the format. It's just it's all classical, and they play like a ridiculous amount of games, like, like eighteen games or something. And I think yeah, just he, like he should he should play he should play a fog of war on chess.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you can't see the pieces. <laughs> yeah. You can't see the enemy pieces. Honestly, I kind of want to play fog of war <laughs> chess. That's probably the only kind it of chess really I would stupid. be tempted to play. Or like the ones where it switches around what the the piece um yeah, like anarchy which, chess what kinds or of whatever, pieces like you have. Random chess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anarchy and, chess. And um yeah, so I guess I I mean I can't really blame him. Classical chess is very boring. I think like I think uh the shorter time controls are a lot a lot more exciting. Especially oh, chess? especially at the G, especially at the super GM level because you know they like they just end up playing the same handful of openings over and over. Like I know Nepo plays a lot uh -huh. of the Petrov and it's just like it's just finicking in these tiny little different ideas on these super dense theoretical lines so i think like i could i could imagine getting burnt out of that very easily uh -huh. but, yeah. would you if you were the five-time defending champion of anything let's say a, a game doesn't have to be chess uh -huh. would you would you quit after that yeah it's also like i mean after you've won it five times it's like what more do you have to prove it's kind of worn <laughs> off i bet yeah mm -hmm. like you get less and less practical returns from investing all that time you know each mm -hmm. each each um sequential uh uh championship that you win so it's like how many if you played in the rlcs how many times <laughs> of like winning the championship in like rocket league like winning the RLCS, like that's the thing. Yeah, like winning even... the RLCS. How many times could you do that before you just quit Rocket League? That's the thing. I just don't have the drive to do the same thing over and over and over. Like that's why I quit when I got to champ the first time. Like you know, five seasons ago or whatever. It's just like I just yeah, plateaued. Well, I just, yeah, it really is. I just plateaued, and then it's like I'm not gonna. I'm like I literally would have to make it a full time job in order to be able to compete at you know mm -hmm. to to climb anymore and it's just like i don't know it's i'm like i you were already not, no, you were already no, putting like was... 10, 10 hours in it like <laughs> yeah like i was putting... I mean, not 10 hours in it a day you were already putting like 3 hours a day yeah, at least it, it was already a part time job and like <laughs> to make yeah. it a full time job that i'm not getting paid for it's just like eh, i don't know not no really. I, I was i was memeing a bit but i i do agree that if it's at the end of the day it's a unless you're unless it's your job mm. it's a game and unless like you're like streaming it and making contact at it or like making some sort of like getting something in return mm -hmm. it's you stop doing it when it's not fun anymore because yeah. at the end of the day that's mm -hmm. what a game is for yeah I, I totally agree it's not a job and it's not fun why are you doing it yeah and it's like so like to even get to the point like i remember looking at like uh the amount of hours that like old pro i don't know if they're still pros or whatever but like i don't even remember who it was but some guy who was playing for nrg like i rizzo i think or like i watched his uh hours on on i looked at his hours on steam like the weeks leading up to the to the um to the beginning of the rlcs, RLCS. yeah and he had in it's two high. in two weeks he had like 300 hours <laughs> it's just like it's so much time. Some people, some people really like that, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I definitely, I definitely think if 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 it was chess, that doesn't yeah. hold my attention at all. Yeah, and like, yeah, 
and to just go like memorizing theory where you're just memorizing moves out of the opening it's just oh my god mm. it's so like boring to me <laughs> sorry just one one last uh point f for this topic mm. do you this is for in in terms of Oh, you won the you won the grand you you won the championship or something like that. Mm -hmm. When you win like a world title as like a team, or I'm thinking like the Super Bowl. Yeah. It's like oh, you like uh -huh. you won the Super Bowl. Congrats, team. That's the sort of thing where it's like you kind of have a reputation going into the next season of being like oh, they were the last season's champs, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. They are. Let's see how they do. But I think when it's like you know, with the when you are the single person who's the world champion of a thing, mm -hmm. do you think you owe it to play until someone beats you? Because that, I think there's more of the reputation of like, oh, it's like Magnus Carlson. He's like, he's like, yeah, he's like, whatever. He he owes it to the chess community to play until somebody beats him. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like that doesn't exist in like team something like football. Yeah, it, it's like, mm -hmm. um, it's like he even said something to the effect of like, you know, there's like, I understand there's like, there's historical uh value or whatever to him continue to play until someone dethrones him but he just like he's just like i don't have any i don't have any motivation to keep doing it anymore basically it's like mm -hmm. he really just seems burnt out but yeah there is there is definitely um merit to that because like basically since since like um kasparov he's like he's like the the greatest um Mm -hmm. player. like he's he's the highest rated player ever but obviously you know gary kasparov didn't have like anyone before him like bobby fisher you're talking anatoly karpov none of them had like these yeah. these super computers that can you know be like can be high 3000s rated like can see you know 2000 moves into the future or whatever mm -hmm. like, speaking of which magnus does go ahead Um, <laughs> did you lose your train of thought? <laughs> I looked up. I looked up when the last time a human beat like a top level chess bot. Uh huh. I think it was the first match and of IBM Blue, wasn't it, or whatever, or Blue versus uh Deep Blue versus Karpov, like or Kasparov. Kasparov? Yeah, they're like I first Deep match. Blue won that. He won the second match. He, the the computer uh, won the second match. He won the first match. Oh, okay. I'm getting someone like I got no direct results, but mm -hmm. I did get a question. That in the question they state that um, Ruslan uh, Ponomaryov. Mm, never heard of him. Fritz. Hmm. Um, in like 2005. Interesting. Yeah, there was also some shady stuff like with the Kasparov game. Like I know Kasparov complained that like they weren't allowed to like manually teach the bot some things or whatever, and they did or whatever. Like it wasn't supposed to have certain openings or something in its repertoire, and it did or something along mm. those lines. But I don't know the exact. Uh, the exact uh, details. I'm 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 a very very casual chess player. <laughs> These two do not play chess yeah. at all. So we were the right. um we were the we thought we were most authority. Yeah, we're talking about this. <laughs> the best the best men for the job. Of course, of course. <laughs> so RJ, what do you have prepped for us this week? Or no, wait, Ryobi's first. Sorry, Ryobi. What do oh you have? yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I was since we were doing back to back weeks. I'm like okay. What's something that's fun to talk about that I can just kind of, I don't know, figure out quickly. I'm like, oh, let's do so We haven't done Would You Rather. It's a classic kind of discussion game mm -hmm. that I think would make for some fun discussions. And I looked online for a quick question. some good ones. <laughs> what? Do we need to explain what Would You Rather is? No, no, no. I'm explaining. I'm explaining how I kind of decided on why I'm doing okay. why I did Would You Rather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like as, as as a segment. I'm not going to explain the rules of the game. People know what it is. <laughs> I but know. anyway, what are the rules? I looked online for some, and I found a subreddit. How do I win? <laughs> called Would You Rather. I I think I just, I debated doing something where it's like, oh, you guess what each person answers. You guess what be, the, but, um, the 
the I most common answer. No, I think I think it's funnier to do. Oh, I guess we could do that because these do have all these. Ha- a lot of these have polls, and you can look at the results. But mm. I think it's funnier. To, I, the questions are so ridiculous. I think we can get enough in- joy, or I don't know. It just you just well, let's let's just go, let's just break into it. So I'm just gonna pop right in with this first one. Would you rather have sex with Ellen or Gilbert Gottfried? Ellen. Yeah. Well, that's just because I'm I'm a straight male, so <laughs> yeah. Easy answer for me. <laughs> Wait, is a question? Is Gilbert Gottfried still alive? He, no, he I died recently, so. didn't he? Did oh, he, did he? I think he. Oh God, I'm gonna Google. Gilbert Godfrey. I thought he died like very recently. Yeah, he died April of this year. Oh, that's a bummer. Wow, that's wild. Yeah. I definitely would rather be... meet Gilbert Gottfried, though. Mm, I don't yeah. really have any... Well, not any... Mm, maybe still. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd rather have met him when he was alive. I don't know. He has fun voices. Yeah, yeah. He seemed like a chill dude. Yeah. What very little I know about him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess he, he is deceased, though. And, and that it... kind of puts a damper on things. And Ellen doesn't seem chill at all, according to her. Yeah. I would, I, I would not want to meet Ellen, I don't think. I think yeah. Ellen is kind of a I would like to overbearing avoid presence. Yeah. But so that's... it's um, a criminal crime or interact with somebody you dislike. Mm. <laughs> yeah, still Ellen. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah. Think it, I think I'd rather not go to jail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Let's. Okay. I need to save those ones. Okay. Also, I don't so, have to like someone to have sex with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, they'd also don't have to be alive either, apparently, according to this. <laughs> would you rather? Yeah. What well, was it posted right. after April? Uh. Okay. Your second <laughs> second one here. Your place of living. Would you rather your place of living be infested with one hundred thousand ants? Ten cockroaches, five can fly out of the ten, mm. or seven spiders. Seven spiders. Seven what? spiders. That's the dumbest question. <laughs> spiders aren't you even. You can't. Also, additional details. You can't kill them. If you move, they will follow you. Well, yeah, of course. Spiders. I cannot imagine what is going on in this person's mind that they think these are equal. Yeah. What the hell? Spiders <laughs> yeah. get rid of mosquitoes like too. Ten thousand ants. Yeah. One hundred thousand. What a wild! What a hundred thousand ants! I was like, oh yeah, I'll take the cockroaches, and then you were like, even seven less spiders. spiders. And I was like, seven, yeah, spiders are good. Spiders are seven objectively good. They get objectively rid of helpful insects to have. Around. Yeah. <laughs> are they insects? I forget. I no, think they're, arachnids. they're arachnids. They're but eight they're, legs they're, is arachnids. Six is they insects. are bug subtype. Yeah. <laughs> people are like i'm pretty sure seven spiders is less spiders than i have in my house right now it probably yeah. is yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, so this is what i mean in that these are let's say and to use some gaming terms they're not balanced yeah no uh let's see okay <laughs> would you rather have unlimited bacon but no video games video games is one word or unlimited games but no games <laughs> What? what? <laughs> <laughs> I assume, but no bacon. <laughs> so unlimited bacon, but no video games? That's so stupid. Or unlimited games, but no games. It's, well, they mean bacon. I clearly want unlimited <laughs> no, games, you, no bacon. No, it's not what they wrote, George. <laughs> you have to take the question as, as is, face value. They have no additional details either. <laughs> I'd still take the I'd still I take the unlimited, unlimited video games. games, but with but with no. I guess I'd but take no games. I take games to mean non-video games then, like board games or sports. And I I'd think still that's take a that. generous interpretation, and I think we're gonna have to pull some meaning out of it somehow. So that I think <laughs> I, if we're going by those rules, I would also pick that. Yeah, I don't like bacon that much. Or yeah, or, not or, or unlimited games games a lot. video games. Yeah. or unlimited video games, but they're all walking sims. What the fuck are Walking Sims? How many ga- Walking Sims exist? There, well, I guess there's unlimited versions of Walking Sims, but what the fuck are Walking Sims? <laughs> Simulators uh, of people it's, walking? Yeah, it's it's game it's it's games where like 
Euro Truck Simulator. Like, they, the they, truck. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, there's not really. There's not really gameplay. You you just control a character who walks around a place uh, and like. It's like less interesting flight simulator. Or like listens to audio logs. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to play okay. those. <laughs> Yeah. If you're really good at Sl Slenderman, that's pretty much what Slenderman is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if you, yeah, just can. If you dodge never get him. caught. <laughs> yeah. It's spooky though. It's atmospheric. Oh yeah. But yeah. That, that was mm -hmm. that was one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's another. Okay. I need I need a legit one because some of these are just stupid or <laughs> wrong or not. Would you rather? If it's yeah. making you laugh, please read it. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, here's a legit one. Okay, um, would you rather have one million online haters or one real life stalker? Oh, the hater one. Yeah. Obvious. Also, because if you have that many haters, you have class. As long as, as well. they stay online. <laughs> yeah. As, yeah. As long as they stay online, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I would say that. Yeah, possibly. Given how the problem little, with like, a million online haters is like, th 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 like, in a realistic world. I don't, I don't think those the haters stay online. Mm, yeah, that's the thing. If they're like really vehemently hate us. <laughs> yeah. Although I think we're in I, I mean, enough. I think any publicity would be good for this publicity yeah, for how small we are. So maybe we could get true. some actual fans if a, yeah. a million people did actively hate us. Yeah, if, if there were yeah. a million people like viewing these videos and commenting hate comments, th then we'd have millions of views. That'd be great. <laughs> I don't care if they're haters. <laughs> Come hate me, I guess bitches. it also depends on like how I mean, they could probably they could probably like they could, probably like, they could probably like report the channel and get it taken. Yeah, they could, yeah. I guess That's if you were like okay. already successful, yeah, they could. They and then could, it's like uh, if you were like oh no, had like a couple thousand subs, and then it's like you did something or somebody accused you of something you didn't do, and then suddenly everyone hates you, and you they just tank all the progress you made. Yeah, and they they uh -huh. mass report like mass flag. Yeah, I guess it depends on yeah. like how how much of your life is online. And how jacked is this stalker? Because mm -hmm. I could probably take him. You know what I mean. <laughs> well, that's the other thing too. It's like, how, what are they actually doing? Are they yeah. like just kind of watching your house? Are they like going through your mail or like interacting with you in any way? Are they coughing into the microphone without muting? Uh, they could be doing that. Oh, <laughs> could be doing yeah. That. Yeah, I was gonna say something, but I figured Ryobi would do it for me. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I got you, George. <laughs> Um, All right, I think yeah. For the position we're in, I think a million online haters. Yeah, and we just take the I'd dice. I'd rather have people yeah. who like who like us, but roll the I'd, dice. With real the life stalkers can get dangerous very quick. Yeah, yeah. Especially with uh, like the amount of uh, violence going on around right now. <laughs> I don't yeah, trust we it. Yeah, could do with a little less violence. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, we did ants. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you guys? How well do you know the um the McDonald's uh character universe? Not very. You know Grimace? Yes. I know okay. of Grimace. Yeah, I know yes. of Grimace. <laughs> All right. Grimace from the McDonald's franchise approaches you with two suitcases of cash. He says you may take either. No strings attached. Which do you take? Uh, case one, one million U.S. dollars. Case two. 10 million US dollars. Bonus option a voucher for a free Big Mac burger expires in six months. <laughs> uh, the 10 million dollars. I mean, that's, that's obviously a joke. Yeah. <laughs> this is easy. I think I'm winning. Honestly. I just don't know why. Like, what, what <laughs> motivates somebody to post this? Cloud. I think I, it literally, it's literally, literally a joke about how, stu how stupid. Um, like the choices. Yeah. But why is it grimace from McDonald's? Because he's funny and purple. Cause, yeah, <laughs> he's because he's because he's a stupid character. <laughs> his his involvement in the question makes it more funny. Oh yeah, that guy's a comedy genius. We should have him on the pod. I guess so. <laughs> well, he got me to read his question. So yeah, good for good for. Thank you. Um, I'm not, I'm the not question is: Does though. Grimace from McDon Does Grimace from McDonald's lore fuck? That's the real question. Uh, if he has access to a suitcase of a million dollars and another one of ten million dollars, I'm pretty sure he can get it done some in some way, shape, or form. I'm pretty sure huh? all of the McDonald's characters are a asexual and 
are born <laughs> via stork. <laughs> Even the okay. Hamburglar dude? Even the Hamburglar? No, he, that dude fucks. <laughs> okay. This one, yeah, this that is, dude this... fucks for sure. <laughs> All right, I don't want to talk about the McDonald's <laughs> cinematic universe anymore. You know who else fucks right. is fucking Ronald no. McDonald himself. <laughs> no, but, but he yes, doesn't do but, it consensually. Yes, but no. <laughs> yes, but no. Oh. Okay. Oh no, I'm out of focus. Right. Okay, I'm back in focus. Semi, semi legitimate one. Actually, no. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, read it. No, you can't react like that and then not read it. Uh. Okay. <laughs> First off, it's a, I'm, there's a bunch of options which are all kind of gross, and I don't really want to talk about them. Mm-hmm. But I'll just I'll just read the um the the, the title here. Uh, which woman would you rather perform fellatio on? I think it's fellatio. It's spelled wrong. Ah, I see. I see. So I, so I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> I see. And I also, see. that's not the, that's not the proper term if you're doing it to a woman. Oh, fellatio yeah. is male only. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah, I knew, I knew the that um, female is cunnilingus, right? Oh, mm-hmm. I didn't know those were like. And then there's a bunch of um, I see now. gross options that I don't want to read, but it was spelled wrong and also the wrong word, and I that made me. I laugh. choose the Queen I, of England. I I, uh, I learned I learned a couple years ago that um, nymphomaniac is gender specific, like it's females only. What really? really? Yeah. Nymphomaniac, females What's the only. One for. I don't think there is one. <laughs> it's just Man, a there isn't one dude. for guys. <laughs> that's yeah. sex. Guys are. Yeah. yeah, it's just a normal dude. That's a. That's a... <laughs> I would posit that's not normal, but we live in a society. Oh text. yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. What's another one? That's okay. If you were to become would you a rather werewolf... live in a society. <laughs> Would you rather or bottom text? Would you <laughs> or bottom text? Bottom text, one percent. <laughs> would you rather pee before you do a live podcast, or have to pee the entire time because you didn't, like an idiot? How about RJ and I find one to do a um discussion, a, a lengthy discussion at, and you go take a pee break? Okay, I'll be right back. My All bad. Right. Yeah. Every time. Okay. <laughs> All right, RJ, if you were to become a werewolf, would you rather transform whenever you want but can't control yourself during full moons or only transform during full moons but be in full control? Be in full control? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> right? I guess, I guess the other one is, would you rather be a regular person who can't transform into a werewolf, essentially? Because I'm not going to transform into a werewolf and, like willingly and lose control of myself. Well, that's, here's the thing, that's RJ. That's a bad idea. <laughs> here's the thing, RJ. The way this question is worded, it's like, transform whenever, which implies that I think you can transform back. Do it on will. Hmm. So if you were like, you could, re- you could transform whenever you want. You can't control yourself while being a werewolf. But I think you can, the, the only button you can put is like the switch back to human switch. So if you were, Maybe, I think if or, you, I think if you were like about time, to do something bad. it's like time, um, <laughs> it can only turn into a werewolf for one minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, still, you could do a lot of stuff in a minute. Hop a fence you need to get over. Mm. Uh, eat some garbage <laughs> that you probably couldn't digest as a person. <laughs> but then the garbage is still in you after a minute, huh? Yeah, it takes like I'd eight hours. Yeah, you could like control. open a jar. I'd rather have full control the jar. full moons. But only full moons is so like I think if I think if you I think I would maybe consider this if you could like if it was the way I interpret it, where it's like you can transform whenever you want, but you can and you don't control yourself during your werewolfness or can't. It depends. Like, how is your instinct just to kill? Is it? Do whatever a dog does is it in most uh like shows and stuff that i've seen like when they turn werewolf they turn angry and murdery yeah yeah but see, then if it's when like... i say most shows i mean supernatural <laughs> okay that's, that's as good that's a basis definitely as that's definitely the traditional that's definitely the traditional like like a lore yeah. is yeah. If, if you if you lose control of yourself yeah. as a werewolf you just go you just go out and murder him. 
Uh, yeah. And eaten okay. hurts. Oh boy, here I go killing again. But then, if, yeah. if I'm gonna, if I could interpret it as I can transform, lose control, but I'm still, oh, I can still like see what's happening and witness what's happening, and I can stop myself. I can turn back into a human if I'm about to do something bad. I think that might be cool. Mm. Granted, them. That's also like I don't really know under what circumstances I would ever choose to become one, be and werewolf. it's not unless yeah. I wanted to kill somebody. Yeah, I which don't, I don't yeah. particularly want to do. Yeah, I don't find myself wanting to murder. Ever, actually, but what would yeah. you do in the full moon? That you were transformed if you picked the other option. Well, then you could. How, like, would, you, uh, how would you spend your? How would you spend your? Show off hours? to my friends and climb, climb shit. It's super popular in the furry community. <laughs> yeah, oh, Jim. dude, you'd have a million <laughs> so, online so, fans and a do, like, million real life stalkers. <laughs> yeah. do, do furry, do furry only fans and make an insane amount of money. Oh yeah, dude, you could do like events and parties and shit. Wait, yeah. no, this that's great. You, that's awesome. You could already. That's like your full time yeah. job now. You could already. No, RJ, you've convinced me. You could all. You could like right now do a furry on OnlyFans if you wanted. I mean, it's within yeah, your power. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to make a shitload of money doing it right now. Well, you'd make a lot of money for me. Mm -hmm. But the the costumes are like the expensive part, so you gotta like um. If you could just transform yeah, and, and not have you, to worry about if you that, were a, it's are, like the if, biggest area. I, I think if you were a real fucking, like an actual fucking, like werewolf man, oh, yeah. you could like you 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 could make millions in like a single night. Yeah, yeah, like absolutely. off of furries, like for sure. You're you're the only one who can provide that service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the only one that can provide it in that level of um. HD, yeah, 4K quality. Uh, that real, that real service. That real shit. Did you guys yeah. CGI? Speaking of OnlyFans, did you guys see recently that Belle Delphine and that other really popular OnlyFans person, I think it's like Amarath or something, uh, like posted their earnings recently, and like both of them made like 30 million in a year or some shit like that. That's fucking. I'm not surprised. That's fucking bananas. Yeah. <laughs> I heard somewhere that like you money. I heard somewhere that like. The like the top ten like OnlyFans posters make like seventy percent of all the money that oh, only, yeah. like that yeah, is that made on makes OnlyFans. Sense. Yeah, that tracks. People just get popular and then they kind of just attract more fans. More people and more yeah. And most of them are just posting like no, I don't want to say most, but a lot of them are just posting like um or at least I think Amarath is from what I've heard. I've never been on their OnlyFans, so I'm not, <laughs> so I'm not outing <laughs> myself. Um, but like I've heard from Moist Critical that like they that she's basically just posting like Instagram pics, but to OnlyFans, and people pay for them. I think she paid. That's she so she did like one topless photo, and that photo alone made like a million dollars. Damn. I think I think part of I think I think part of it also is that. Like as far as I know, at least OnlyFans like is super like privacy based, so you can't like browse it. Like yeah, you can't yeah. browse it or like like just find people. You have to know about them ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. To I even don't, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's a social media. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like you can't just be like, oh, I'm just gonna start a feat OnlyFans. It's like people like specifically go to only fans of creators they already know <laughs> have like yeah and, essentially yeah you gotta get your feet out there somehow first yeah and yeah. then get your feet you, out gotta, there. you gotta get your big fucking werewolf you gotta get your feet, feet wet ha -ha, yeah. get it yeah. jokes all right that's enough of that one yeah good job werewolf <laughs> okay there's a gross one um oh yeah gross, gross all right here, gross, here's gross. here's an here, here's another um quick one do you like the taste of blood? No. This is not no, a would you this is there is no would you rather. Would you rather? <laughs> it is yes, no are the options. Would you no. rather have uh, blood or no. not have blood? There you go. Like would you rather have blood? <laughs> yeah, like, I would rather have blood too. I would rather have a, an actual question. But like, I thought this was Would you rather have a drink of blood or not have a drink of blood? Is the question, I think. No, I'm not I I'm th I I prefer water. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with water too. RJ? Okay. <laughs> RJ didn't answer. I'm gonna I'm gonna jot him down for uh <laughs> I'm gonna write Oh he's coming back. I, I'm gonna write down that RJ wants the blood. Okay. Oh, are we recording our answers? Alright, good job, George. <laughs> yeah. Alright, RJ. Metaphorically write it down. 
Yeah, I'm back. All right. Would you rather save the world if every one of your blood relatives gets massacred in front of you? You survive. Or would you rather have the world end? What? That's so... or, or would we rather have the world end? World save and watch family line die in front of you or end the world existence are the options. <laughs> I mean, this was a lot. This was a. This was. A, this is a lot easier of a question if you don't have kids. Mm. George, RJ, the world ends. Yeah. Either way, your yeah. kid dies. Everyone's gonna That's die true. anyway. <laughs> what do you mean? This is this is an anti question. I, th I think usually. I think usually the world ends isn't like, like Earth explodes. It's like everyone else dies. Usually. Just generally, no. uh, I don't know, no, RJ. The, the, way the that's option says, about, "End the world." Things. Yeah, RJ. I don't, this is this is pretty black and white here. The option reads, "End the world existence." Yeah, four words. Full end stop. of world existence. End yeah. the world existence. Yeah, the end world go world bye existence. bye. World go bye bye. Uh, world not yeah. there anymore. Also, I guess the world, world go now. bye bye. Which... Also, also like not not to like shade your family or anything but even if it was like nuclear apocalypse or zombie apocalypse i don't think your family is surviving that long anyway <laughs> even if it is a i would snip, argue uh, most people would yeah, not survive. exactly that's that's why yeah like like either way <laughs> your family's probably fucked yeah do you want to be playing resident evil on hardcore mode <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you do, and you're not leon kennedy so i think you super cop I think that one's just a stupid question because I think you it have is. to do the. That's why I picked it. The family die. All these are stupid, but yeah, it's 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 a non question. Unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, what's another good one? Take that family, okay. your downers. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. This is a good discussion. All right, which would you rather keep? The other one becomes the other option becomes illegal. Okay. All right. Cigarettes and porn is option one. Power Rangers is option two. Uh. What? Which would you rather keep? The other becomes illegal. You can keep cigarettes and porn, or you can keep Power Rangers. I think I'd the other one will get you sent to jail. I, you could you could keep what? I think I'd take Ciga what's the, cigarettes what's the and one? Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Everyone's favorite show. I would definitely keep. Is it is it even still being made? I would take the L on. Uh, I would take the L on porn just to make cigarettes illegal. To get rid of cigarettes. Yeah, I hate, yeah. I hate the smell of cigarettes, and they're so gross. And oh, that's an interesting them. angle. You they sacrifice yeah. sacrifice porn just to take out cigarettes. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck cigarettes. Not even considering Power Rangers. Yeah, I don't care about Power Rangers. Yeah. One way, I'm, no, I'm, I'm neutral shit about Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, I'm neutral. <laughs> I think it would be. I love. I love the idea of the person who wrote this, who fucking loves cigarettes. <laughs> Porn and, and power rangers. Yeah, that's, that's most people are. That's most people are. Jay. What? No, it's not most people. I don't think so. Not even what? I don't nah, think. Man. I don't think even like ten percent. These are all on equal. Things are all on equal standing, I George. I don't know what I would, you're talking I would about. I would argue the most popular out of that trio is porn. No, nah, it's Power yeah. Rangers, dude. No, it's definitely porn. <laughs> you underestimate the Power Rangers community. So I guess it probably has some overlap with the porn community. Oh yeah, I like the Power Rangers it porn. It has or overlap with the porn. With the I porn don't like community. regular Power Rangers, but I like the Power Rangers porn. I mean, <laughs> let's be oh, honest. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I, I think it'd be very funny that Power Rangers suddenly become illegal. That's yeah. my other take on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's worth it. Yeah. That's worth keeping cigarettes. <laughs> I hate cigarettes. Non-joking non answer. I hate cigarettes too. But, yeah. Um, Power Rangers being illegal? That's pretty fucking funny. And, the, yeah. and like even taking out porn is like I want to reduce my porn consumption. So it's like kind of like two birds. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, well, not all of us have significant others, but. Oh, that's I true. gotta make some sacrifices. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry, Power always... Rangers is all I'm saying. You can always draw. <laughs> it's draw. No, it's porn. illegal. You can yeah, always like, like, things that the aren't porn. SWAT, you like you like <laughs> you like draw a boob and like the SWAT like busts it, <laughs> like crashes through your window and door. Go 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 go! <laughs> Take it <them> out. <laughs> You type P O in your search Scum bar. Scum like you are why <laughs> I joined the force. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, you bloody wanker! <laughs> uh, all right, what's another good one? All right, that one's just silly. 
<laughs> All right. Would you rather be a victim of an acid attack or be beaten to death with a can of beans? Beaten to death with a can of beans, probably. Yeah. You'd rather straight up die. Oh, I assume the acid attack kills you. And be burned with acid. I thought I, I, I assumed it was a lethal acid attack. I guess oh, no, I'm, taking, I'm lethal, taking these all at face value. Yeah, if it's not lethal, this, this one's attack. a joke too. I bet. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but with a can of yeah, beans, if it was, if it it was being beaten nearly to death with a can of beans, or be the victim of an acid attack, then I'd take the big can of beans. Yeah, I'd, I'd take the can of beans. Blunt, blunt yeah, force seems less victim bad of than... a, victim of attack is very ambiguous. Yeah, but acid I agree. I think victim acid of would... acid attack, victim is a, of as is just about as bad as it can get. Yeah, burns are scary. Dying, burns yeah. are scary. Yeah, fuck that. Mm. Though I I wonder if it's a, it is a lot of it's it's not all of it, but it'd be very cosmetic compared to like. Well, actually, I mean, you can still get janked up pretty cosmetically with a can of beans. I bet. Yeah. But... Yeah. Not nearly as badly as you can by fucking acid. Yeah, that like <laughs> that like melts the skin off your face. Like fuck that. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be rough. Yeah. Eating would be rough. Yeah. Ooh. Like like talking would like hurt. after it, 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 assuming you fully recovered from um from both. Oh yeah, assuming you fully re- like uh, like effectively recovered from both. Mm-hmm. Um, you would have probably like. Probably like, like parts of your body with scars and like visibly they used to be broken and like, like a crooked nose and that kind of stuff from the can of beans mm-hmm. and like a bunch of scars. Um, you would not have what is generally recognizable as a face anymore after yeah. an acid well, attack. But then you would have to explain to everybody. That you got beat beaten that badly by a can of beans. Yeah, one of those. One of those beans. is a little easier to explain. I don't know that. I, I feel like I feel like I could have a. Also, you could always lie. About... <laughs> <laughs> just say you got beat by a bat. <laughs> boom, bam, you boom. could just lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what? Yeah. Lie. No, that's that's came a out good with point, me a bat George. with a bat. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't beans at all. Trust me. Wink, wink. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Whatever you think I it was, think... I know what you're thinking when you see this. It was a can of beans. You're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about you. I don't think I would be super embarrassed about having gun beat up uh, with someone by someone armed with a can of beans. People just make. Fun I'd probably of you. say it was like, a, can, no a can of literally anything else. <laughs> It's, here comes Bean Boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel I like you know. walk in on crutches. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Beans just have oh, a clean value. Fucking Bean Boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. I do have. I do have one. I don't mean to step on your toes, but I was just watching the second episode of uh, like 1984, like slasher uh, season of um, American Horror Wait, Story. Is this, a, is this a good one? Because we should end on it then. Yeah, yeah. It's I, a, have, it's other, a I have other bullshit ones. It's a good one, but it's it's simple, okay. but I think it's good. Um, All right, well, let's do that last. Um, oh, okay. Quick one is, well, I have a gross one and a quick one that I think is actually kind of discussionable. Mm-hmm. Which one should I do? Oh, uh, gross. Really? Yes. Okay. Easy. Well, I guess it did make me laugh a lot. Uh, would you rather repee all the pee you've done in your life in one sitting or poop all the <laughs> poops you're going to have for the rest of your life in one sitting? That like that like is very different depending on your age, but for my If you choose repee, your body functions will continue as usual afterward. If you choose to poop, you're done pooping for life. Oh, okay. Then never mm, I'd still Huh. Hmm. That's, I, that's I think, weirdly I think hard. I'd rather repee all the pee. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd rather repee yeah, all the pee. Yeah, because we're so, like, we're still in our 20s. Peeing can be kind of, peeing can be kind of pleasant. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 as long as my, I assume, like, my bladder is not busting just because, like, like, I, I couldn't hold all that pee, so it's a, essentially magical. And assuming we, I don't think it's going we, to hurt you in either case, unless... One of the peas you've peed in the past hurt. Mm-hmm. Mm. But there's also like the, like, the age like factor poop is of like poop is pretty like frequently all, uncomfortable. Like assuming assuming we're making it to like 
we're we're you know assuming none of us die in some crazy accident or something like that like and we make it to like the life expectancy of you know say your average american uh then like you're talking 50 years of of poos versus like yeah 20 some years of peas so it's just like for me it feels like pee is the easier one to go with if, uh, I, 50 years of pooping would take me like a, at least a week straight yeah if not more yeah like, i think i, could, I think that would i, could, stop, I yeah. think i could pee all the pee i've ever peed in like a day yeah same here i think you could also yeah. kind of try to go about your day you could you could do <laughs> theoretically do other stuff while, yeah. while peeing <laughs> Yeah, especially in the age. You had some sort of apparatus or some sort of setup. That's definitely that's definitely possible, but like I just imagine just like well, it's in one sitting. So I think pants constantly for a single. Well, no, I don't think I don't think the wording is in one sitting. So I think you'd have to be continually sitting and on the toilet or whatever. But I think you could get work done on a laptop or whatever. Uh, yeah, when I think when I think sitting, I like that. Just that I think just it, means continuous strain. Yeah, that that's. To I me, agree, I agree with both interpretations, particularly because to you me do it means continuous but down. also sitting. <laughs> like if you say yeah. eat eat food in one sitting, you you're you're not allowed to get up and go to the bathroom or whatever. Yeah. Well, I think it's more like yeah. Well, I, I'd eat food in one sitting if I'm standing up and eating the food. Well, I think uh, eating food in one sitting is more like. You eat something. It's more about not having an interruption than it is about. It's more. Like, yeah, it's more about not coming that. back to it. It's, you eat until it's gone. I disagree. I think it's. I think it comes from restaurant sitting, and you know that's why. Maybe, it's but would sitting. you say you didn't eat like four pounds of steak in one sitting if you ate it while you were standing? Um, no, I not not really. Just, I don't think anyone would do that. I think if 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 you're doing an eating challenge, I think in, in, inherently you would sit. George, this is an odd place to apply logic here. <laughs> this is an odd segment for that. Well, I mean, this whole thing I, is I logical. disagree. <laughs> <laughs> like in any eating competition, you see they're always sitting and stuff, or that I've seen at least. Yeah, like sure, just be like. But, like, it's still theoretically possible to do, and I, I could be wrong, but I, isn't the hot dog one done standing up? Or am I wrong about that? I I've, might be wrong I've already seen that. it sitting, but then again, most of what I've seen has been, like, in, in, like, shows and, like, pop culture or whatever. It's not, like, yeah. an actual film of a eating competition. It's, like, but most, most people do generally sit yeah. down to eat, but, like, if you are standing and eating, yeah, I, I just would wouldn't like... call it one sitting. I'd just say you ate it all at once, or whatever, or you, yeah. you ate it all without a break. I think, or whatever. I think, I, I think one, I think one sitting would still apply. Yeah, I don't. Okay, I think we're getting too da- too caught up in the um the no, semantics no. of the word sitting. Yeah, sitting. A point to consider: if you if you do the pooping one, you're done after that for life. Imagine never having to worry about needing to like yeah i don't like having to poop like doesn't doesn't bother me in the way that it does some people like but i mean like you never like you can eat whatever you want and it's like oh that's not gonna wreck you later yeah i don't i don't really have because you paid for it already (laughs) well i don't i don't really have that either like i don't normally like when people are like oh like taco bell always gives you really bad shits or whatever or certain foods i i I don't really find that Mm -hmm. personally you don't have like a, a reaction to coffee where it, you, you have like it kind of makes makes you need to go now sort of deal. Well, it does, yeah, but that, it doesn't give but me, it doesn't bad give me any, it, it, Yeah, the booze are normal. Well, think about that. I mean, like, any you, worse poops than I normally have. I but like like I have sub. I I'm pretty sure like most of my poops are sub average quality. Also, like I enjoy having to poop because then it like especially like during work because it gives you a break from work. <laughs> you know, but, but George, <laughs> yeah, you, George, you could just go and then not yeah i guess but it's like i i don't care about well, well, how do you stop yourself from doing it yeah uh like, like too frequently like that like that um like that uh like that line of re like that pro is so small to me that it's it doesn't outweigh having to poop for like a week plus straight <laughs> like i think the yeah. fact that it's like a week that yeah if i don't know the math 
it would suck that yeah. that time frame it, however long it was it, it would be awful yeah it takes significantly longer uh, like i i'm like this might be a me uh and my and this might be a me having bad poops thing but it takes a while for me to do one poop no, that's not <laughs> like that's not true for me but it's still <laughs> george is a machine it takes a while yeah. for me to do one poop if i german did, engineered like, well, multiple have, years worth of small pooping in of one time. sitting it would take forever <laughs> to, for like like i would lose my job if i had to do 60 <laughs> years of pooping in one go yeah <laughs> yeah for me i can You'd like, also never be able I'm, to go imagine, in whatever room you did that in but again. here's, here's another thing imagine imagine taking the pooping one and then only like doing like like twice your regular poop. Oh yeah, that means you're gonna die. You get <laughs> yeah. some, you're gonna get some insight into that. Yeah. <laughs> See the future a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I don't That's want to know what good. I. I think I don't know want to know when I'm gonna die, so I think I'd choose the P one. Mm, and also, I think it'd yeah. be. I want to see how much I could get done while. While peeing. Yeah. While peeing. Just to see, just for an experiment. Yeah, I but, also um, think P definitely. Peeing definitely inconveniences you less than pooping. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like I can hold a conversation. Like not just not just like time wise, but like I'm holding a conversation like just right like now. Doing yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm holding a conversation and peeing right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm showing my experiment right now. <laughs> honestly, because of my small bladder, peeing inconveniences me a lot more than pooping does. To be honest. Really? But yeah. you don't get anything for peeing. Well, yeah, but no. it, it's still just because like I don't gain like. I just don't want to poop 50... I'd rather pee 20 years of pee than poop 50 years of poop at once. <laughs> like, that's r really the only logic I'm using. I'm just saying, in general, pee inconveniences me more than pooing does. Yeah. It's like, just like, like, you know, we'll be on a road trip, and I'll have to poop... <laughs> I'll have to pee, like, like... I don't know. If it's an eight-hour road trip, I'll have to pee, like, five times, six times. <laughs> like, I have a tiny bladder, and I'm always thirsty. To be fair... Like, I'm thirsty To be fair, I, I swear to God, I drink, I drink, like, three times as much as a road, on a road trip as I do normally. Well, I just drink three <laughs> times... I just drink three times as much of the normal person. It's like, it's, it's, it's uh, like, it's like... It's, I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe it was... Maybe, like like limited experience but it's like i don't like the the if i have a liquid it's like that i'm doing such little of anything else that like i start drinking it occupies your time to like something kind of to occupy do. my time yeah yeah that, that to makes be sense. something to do i don't i, I, I hate um, to i hate to I also I, my I bladder to... is also 20 times smaller uh if i'm watching a movie Okay, I hate to reel this in, but Straight we should back. probably get to the last one so we can move on. I ha yeah, I have, I have, I sorry, I have one more, and I think we can make this quick. Okay, cool, I didn't cool. think we'd talk about pee that much. Yeah. All right. Would you rather fight a lion with a sword and buckler, like a shield, or mm. fight a bear with a chainsaw? As in, you you have the chainsaw and you have the sword and shield. Yeah, definitely the bear and chainsaw. It's very easy. Yeah, bear and chainsaw. Bear and really? chainsaw. Yeah. Yeah. Your survival. The is chainsaw much, gives you. Yeah, your survival is much higher like, with the. With the a bear and a lion, either a bear or and a lion, either one is it has a really good chance of like you as a human have absolutely no Wait, chance of fighting. Your a odds bear are not great. If you're not trained. You're not trained. Lion. Yeah, like, but, but like a sword and shield is significantly like I would say less useful against animals than. Yeah, because the chainsaw emits a then noise. A chainsaw is so the noise. Yeah, itself a chainsaw is emits gonna... a noise, and you also don't need to like, you know, make good contact. You don't need to like, yeah, rust it deep or anything. It's just like if the bear touches the chainsaw, it's going to flinch away and like, <laughs> it's not going to be around you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, See, I think this is, I think odds. I think you're right. I don't I definitely didn't make a snap judgment like you guys did. Bears are big. And yeah. also bears are, well, it also depends on did they specify a type of bear? Cuz some bears are big, but some bears are very small. In well the in the I options they I, gave me I more, always but, um, whenever I hear bear, I assume I assume like brown bear like grizzly or something. Yeah, like, like, I don't assume <laughs> polar bear with and I don't assume black bear. 
Like, okay. yeah, that's bear, just assumption. I think that's bear. just assumption. Like a black bear. That's true. Is a lot less threatening a than a, a black one. bear. I could a black bear. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, not me, kick, but like I could kick it to George death. could probably take a black bear. Yeah. George, George might be able to take a black bear as it. I'll like, wrestle it. No Fuck chance. It. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, black, black bears are. But and then panda bears are like lazy little shits. I bet you could just walk up to it and decapitate it. <laughs> yeah. And koala bears yeah. are they technically bears? Because I could I could I punt know. a koala. No, bear. I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, they're marsupials, aren't they? Yeah. But I could yeah. still beat the shit out of a koala. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying. I can. I, think we all I could beat the shit out of a koala bear. Are you kidding me? Let's do yeah, it next could. episode. We fight koala. Yeah. Bear. Next episode, we kill a koala bear. No, just fight. <laughs> yeah, it's not to the death. <laughs> Come on, that'd be illegal. I don't, yeah, I don't know. But I mean, I'm pretty I... sure. I'm pretty sure I would lose. I'm pretty sure I would still end up dying in either scenario. Yeah, but I feel like I have a better chance again if I have a chance. brown off. bear, like yeah. a bear yeah. and a lion. A bear is slightly is a little more dangerous to me than a lion, but both are so like incomprehensibly more dan like incomprehensibly dangerous to me. Also, and, what like, age is this bear? <laughs> is it a okay, month there's old? no there's no age. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't no age. give an age. I'll yeah, fight, so, I'll I'll fight, <laughs> it's a baby. I think bear. I'd rather fight. I'd rather fight a baby lion with a sword and a shield than a baby bear with a chainsaw. <laughs> Yeah, because like it'd be fucking if I'm badass. Murder an animal. I'd rather, I'd rather use, <laughs> I'd rather not use a chainsaw if I'm gonna murder a baby animal. I don't know. It might be quicker. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> depends right, how good you go. are. With, depends how good you are with the sword. Yeah. I mean, it's a, a master. If it's a baby, sword. just pin it and fucking like. Stab it, or like I don't know. It it has to be less horrific than tearing it apart with. Okay, a I thought this would be less disturbing than the P one, but you Ooh. guys suddenly made it about baby animals. Okay, real, real quick. The one that was in the uh, second episode of 1984 American Horror Story was what? What sense? Which of the five cents would you be rid of if you had to get rid of Touch. one? Interesting. Wait, no, smell. Probably smell. I said smell. they said sh smell in the show. I said I said uh, t I said taste because then like taste. Yeah, you give up a lot of good, but all of the good taste is sort of good. Good from taste, especially for me, is like a double edged sword. So like, for example, I love McDonald's, but I don't want to love McDonald's. So it's like if I didn't that's, have the that's, sense of taste, I would just eat spinach and broccoli all day. <laughs> like. I... It's definitely between. It's definitely between. Although you could just become very like texture focused and still eat foods that are fucking horrible for you because but... like maybe the only texture you like is pudding. Yeah, I guess certain people, but I like I don't mind the texture of like the two things I just said. Yeah. See, if I didn't if I didn't have taste, I would probably be more likely to eat McDonald's. That shit's gross. That shit is delicious. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> honestly, McDonald's tastes fine. It's how I feel after eating McDonald's that makes me not want to eat McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. this is why I wish I had like the stomach problem poo thing because I feel fine after eating McDonald's. Just I'm, I'm yeah. just emotionally, emotionally, I'm mad at myself for <laughs> eating McDonald's yeah. again. <laughs> Physically, yeah, I, no, I, I feel I feel uh, like I eat McDonald's and like I'm like low energy like my stomach's not that upset but like a little upset and mm -hmm. like like it like really like I'm like I feel weaker <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like it, it's like like it's like this is literally the, the opposite of what food is supposed to do yeah <laughs> Yeah, sorry. One thing I want to add a little bit. So, but it tastes fine. Mm -hmm. In terms of like senses, you can do with that. Like, you you need you need sight and hearing yeah. to really interact with like a lot of the world. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's very very sight. You can't really choose those two. Mm -hmm. um, so touch, I think touch you could probably well. touch would be weird. I think you there's a lot of problems. You're not having you touch consider. is super dangerous. Because you that's, <laughs> that's implying you yeah. don't feel pain. And yeah. pain is an yeah. incredibly important sensation. Yeah. For knowing yeah. something's wrong with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's an episode on house where like the person just never knows they're 
like if they get a bruise like they you know they they don't know or if they get a cut mm -hmm. they they don't know <laughs> unless they like, yeah, like see it, it you, you know you could like hurt you could twist your ankle and then continue to run on it and make it worse yeah exactly and you just wouldn't yeah. know or you could have like mm -hmm. a, oh you know the early signs and, and worst of all of you couldn't have sex disease. anymore oh yeah also yeah that's <laughs> tasting. i would never do touch touch is definitely the worst one so it's really between smell and taste. Touch is not the <laughs> touch, touch is not the I would say it's the only one it's that's between the, sight and hearing. I don't know, because those wouldn't those aren't like I feel like you can get by and you're not likely to kill yourself because of those. Like not in the modern world, not extremely likely at least. Especially hearing. Like hearing you can get by. But like touch can literally be lethal if, if something really bad happens to you and you don't realize it until it's too late. So that, that's like, true. So I feel like touch is at least tied with blindness for the worst. Mm -hmm. And also yeah, you so, give up sex. So like, sorry. <laughs> to, to finish my point, so you um, probably kill yourself. <laughs> extremely lethal. <legal. laughs> okay, quick finishing my point. Taste yeah, and smell are very interconnected, and I think if you pick, you have, basically it, it boils down if you don't want to put your personal security at risk. You got to really pick one of those two, but mm -hmm. either one you're going to pick is going to impact your, how you interpret food. Cause I think a lot of, like a lot of taste is actually smell based. Smell. Yeah. So you're going to, that's it's going to get a lot of food. Matter. I don't like it's because I hate the smell of like bananas is a great mm -hmm. example. I hate the smell of bananas and coconut. Actually coconut. You don't mm -hmm. really taste or smell. I mean, what's coconut smell? I guess coconut it has smells. a smell. Yeah. Probably coconut has a smell. Stuff. So yeah, I think I don't like the yeah. smell of coconut too. Because have, they'll have, like, coconut shampoo, and it's, like, not that I use, I use shampoo, obviously, but, uh, <laughs> like, April will have coconut shampoo or something sometimes, and it's like, eh. Do you ever, like, put shampoo on your head just to know how it feels? <laughs> no, no, not really. I, I mean, I soak my head. Bro, your beard, it's not though. like George has never had hair. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had hair, like, <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> but, Impossible. But, yeah, I, I had really um, long hair in, um... In like uh, middle school, early high school, I had like the Bieber. Oh fuck! I kind of remember that. Yeah, <laughs> that's very strange. Mm -hmm. That's I very asked... strange to think. You lost, you lost like hair really fast. Yeah, like that. That's wild to think, because like from like middle school to like like pretty much once you were by the time you were out of high school, you were already like thin enough that you essentially never didn't wear a hat yeah yeah like George, which is, is like okay that's to talk about. That's... <laughs> oh no i don't care like some people okay. some people are like more sensitive about going sensitive, bald yeah but like okay for me it's like like i think i look good with like a shaved head so like correct i, I think i, I think care. a lot of people do actually especially especially stockier guys mm -hmm. like and a lot of that, talk here, I guys... kind of, I kind of, and I want to, I want to go bold, but like, <laughs> why? And, like, that's an not unusual go bold, take. But like, I want to, like, I want to shit, like, I kind of want to shave my head, like, because, mm -hmm. because I, it's really I convenient. release a lot more heat in the summer, and like, yeah, in the winter I can just wear a hat. Yeah, yeah, it's really convenient. <laughs> I like, I found switching over because like like shampooing and conditioning you don't have to worry about any of that or like really group i mean you, i shave it like i don't know like once a week or whatever but like other than that like you like and the most annoying thing especially in in uh, middle school and early high school when i had like the long hair was just like like drying it out like took ages <laughs> like i hated it so yeah mm -hmm. i don't know it's pretty convenient i don't know but like i, don't know. I like I just think I would look so fucking bad as like <laughs> like a tallish skinny guy mm. like with with a shaved head it would look hor it would I think it would look bad on me I, I like I don't think I I look I bad enough as is I don't need to look worse <laughs> I think you could I think you could I think, pull it off I think part of it is like like bald you want a beard too yeah you want a beard if you're going bald I cannot really grow a beard uh. uh. But my dad, um, like my biological father, um, like I know a lot of people. Like I remember in school, like my classmates were like when he visited, were like, "Oh, your dad's attractive. You're gonna grow up to be attractive or whatever." So I think, and he doesn't, yeah. he doesn't rock a beard. Like sometimes he'll have shadow, he, but he doesn't rock he's a beard. He's got, he's got, um, he's got, he's got a pretty like medium 
to like stockyish build though. Yeah, yeah. I think. But he can, he can. Well, he's he, he's lean sometimes, but he can go stockier. Like, you know, yeah. I mean, everyone's weights fl- fluctuate in that. Like he's not. Like, yeah, everyone's weights that. But like he like he doesn't have the body type where like like he's thin looking. Yeah, he's not lanky for sure. Yeah, he's not lanky. Mm-hmm. But like, I think I think part of that is just uh, inherent because I've heard that like. He, I, this is not a cope, I swear. I've heard, I've heard that people that go bald early have like high levels of testosterone, um, and that actually that actually weird. like the high testosterone actually that, contributes to the hair loss. Um, yeah, that kind of checks out, to be honest. Yeah, like Bruce like, Willis, Vin Diesel, The Rock, <laughs> all those. They're too strong. Yeah, too powerful. It's also yeah. It's also it's also a more of a male thing than a female thing. Yeah, yeah. Like there is to female go, pattern bald, so but like, it's rare. Like so, it being linked to testosterone makes sense. Yeah, and then that also kind of makes sense with my my self diagnosed. Um, yeah, like you have very thick hair. Somewhat like low T. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I have. I have thick hair. It's not, it's not thinning out at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and your dad still has a. I, I don't want to out you too much, but your dad still has a full head of hair, pretty much, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, I anyway, think his. We I should, think um... his is a little thinner. Yeah, his is <laughs> yeah. Thinner I mean that's it, natural. He can... He's like thirty years older yeah. than you, or whatever. Funny, yeah, 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 yeah. Older than you. But anyway, we should move on I think to your it, segment. I think he might have always had thinner hair than me too. Oh, okay. But I could well, be wrong. Uh, uh, but we should move on to your segment, RJ. Yeah, uh, my segment isn't really... I'm not really hosting anything. Um, I I decided that we should do on stream uh, a little game. Um, I don't know if there's a proper term for it. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Uh, George introduced me to it <laughs> oh, uh, no. like a couple <laughs> years ago. Never mind, we shouldn't do RJ's segment. <laughs> I, I have no idea what we're talking about. Fortunately, did you tell? Did you did you tell us what we we're? Oh. Okay. It's, it's the only thing I could think of that I didn't have to prep. Ooh, okay, Not the only thing. <laughs> but the, the, tell me one other thing, and we can do it right away. Hot takes. Easy. Hot takes. Hot takes. We need to prep that. I don't have. No, we don't. Uh, no, we don't. I got one. So Hold you, on. you, you've got one. Okay, let's do hot yeah. takes then. Ooh, thank Rather God. Than unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm so that good. takes too much brain power, well, and I also not... don't think I don't think it's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm just worried. I'm I'm just more I nervous. Think just, about I think we're doing gonna. I, think we're I, do wonder, I do wonder if it's is it like? It, I'm not the, creative. Like, when I thought about it, it was like, is that like an improv? Yeah, it's an improv. Yes. Yeah, it's an improv thing. Improv is hard. <laughs> improv is very hard. Oh, Dude, I went to a, a Ben Schwartz and Tim, uh, Thomas Middleditch um, improv show, and it was very funny. But also, you could tell they had a, an immense amount of talent. <laughs> like, improv yeah. is very hard. But anyway, so hot takes. Who wants to go first? All right, I got a hot. I got a legit hot take, I think. And then I have kind of a random one, but I need to find where I wrote them down. Okay. All right, Jay, do you um... have one off the top? I don't know if I do. No. Said it was easy. I don't the... have a hot take. <laughs> so we can think. I don't have uh, a lot of hot takes. Okay, here, here's here's one. Yes, kind you do. Of. All right, just to say something. Yeah, I, I definitely do. I just don't know what they are. I think yeah. your micro USB ish. one is the one of the hottest takes I've ever heard. I think. Okay, my hot take. I think it should be socially acceptable to fall asleep at restaurants while you're waiting for your food. I think it is. <laughs> I, th- I very is much it? think it I is. Think it is. I don't think it's. I don't think it is. I don't my, think it is. My hot take. I don't is. think anyone would stop you. I think you I don't think it's I think acceptable. Be... I think I have a hotter take. My, my hotter take is that it already is. <laughs> okay. No, let's do yours then. I think you're wrong. Well, how do you define socially I acceptable? I mean, no one's going to say anything to you, so there's no negative social consequences, right? Is no. It... Yeah. That's not how that works. People are gonna look at you weird. You're People are gonna you're look at you will judge you. <laughs> you're unconscious. You can't see them. <laughs> I'm dreaming about uh, fucking playing well, in the w- RCS. Yeah, but when you wake up, you will, and they'll still be judging no, you. No, that, when and I you wake, have to put no, no, the no, servers no, 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 in an no, no, awkward no, 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 position no, no. of like waking up. When I wake up, up, I'm not asleep anymore, and they'll stop judging me. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I wake up, I'm gonna be 100 percent focused on the food. You kidding me? 
And then by the time I'm done with the food, I will have forgotten all about it. I'm just like, why are these weirdos staring at me? Then they're the weirdos. You're gonna get. You're gonna get posted on. Them. Somebody's gonna post online about you. So, so is your. So is <laughs> is your argument that it's socially acceptable to fall asleep in restaurants because you simply <laughs> don't care about what other people think? Yeah. So technically, everything's socially <laughs> like, acceptable, <laughs> unless it's illegal. Like, yeah. Like, like, you should, just, just, like, at that point, uh, as long as you give. A little enough of a shit. Anything is socially acceptable. Yeah, it's like I don't care about it. Asleep and at a therefore, restaurant. you shouldn't care about it. I, or, I, I can't see you, so you can't see me. And except it's I'm asleep, so I can't see them I, posting about me on Twitter. I've definitely fallen asleep at a restaurant before, like at an airport, like in between flights. And it's definitely so, not a huge social faux pas. Yeah. That's not, like I said, I don't think any do anyone would stop you, but if you were a real ass, like a grown ass man, I think it also you kind of depends did that every on time. How... I think, it... yeah, if you did that every time, you did. <laughs> every time. <laughs> I don't think they'd like you after after a pretty short period of time. You yeah, like, especially if you're a regular somewhere. You no, order... see, the reason I bring this up is I used to do this all the time as a kid, and it was great. I'd fall asleep, I'd wake up, and food was there. Mm-hmm. Or I wouldn't wake up, and then I'd eat like cold french fries at like 9 p.m in the car home uh-huh. or something yeah i think more, it was great more likely as a kid more likely as the social faux pas is like the people at your table finding it rude because <laughs> it's kind of like you're yeah. choosing sleep over a conversation with your party <laughs> correct yeah yeah so like that i see so i take it back but if you're at a restaurant alone i still hold up that you can sleep and wait for your food but then you're trusting I think it depends on how long you're waiting if do you, anything. If you told, if you take like a full like like long rest, like like, like eight hours, long you get rest, all your eight hours, HP back. D&D. Yeah, you want to get all your I, HP back? I think we're uh, talking about naps you specifically. Cannot, <laughs> you cannot do that at a restaurant. You cannot stay in a restaurant eight hours. Asleep. Actually, uh, yeah, I know this is another show, but in How I Met Your Mother, uh, Barney stay. Uh, stays like 24 hours in a 24 hour diner in order to to prove to this girl that he's ready to change or whatever i don't know i can't remember <laughs> did he sleep in it two things yeah. that's fic- two things <laughs> one that's fictional <laughs> two <laughs> two was that was that considered normal and okay by anyone well, i mean no one no one, no one was like, "Yo, man, that restaurant's just open twenty four hours. You're not actually supposed to stay there for an entire fucking day." Yeah, no one really brought it up. It was funny because the waiter kept asking him if that's it, that's but, wild. Because I would bring that shit up. The waitress kept coming back, and then he'd be like, "No, nah, just water for me for now." <laughs> so he wasn't even buying for twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he stayed for a whole day. Like I, I feel like, I feel like, like I feel like it's the same concept as like, I feel like it's the same concept as like a buffet, like, mm. like if you start living somewhere, they're going to kick you out. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's called squatting. Also, also <laughs> people, crime. people in my Jack in the Box that I worked at, well, it wasn't my Jack in the Box, but the Jack in the Box I worked at no, in LA, in like homeless people would come in and sleep all the time. Yeah, I, so suck I don't on think that. That's generally, I think that's gen. I don't think that's generally, generally accept considered acceptable behavior. And one of my managers one time tried to get one of them to leave, and they attacked him with a stick. Yeah, it's more about the Ooh. um. That's a perfect scenario of cut your losses. Uh, you don't owe Jack in the Box your personal security to make sure that people don't sleep in. It. I, I do have a hot take, but it's kind of mean. I don't know. I don't want to be mean. I guess I could be mean. How, how mean is mean? It's not that mean. It's just like homeless wait. people deserve it. Mean, mean, mean to who? Let's go with that. Mean to what audience? Uh, close-minded musical fans. Not, not musical. Ah, go in. for it. Pretentious music fans. I don't well, think. I, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think shitting on pretentious musical fans is hot. No, 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 no. Well, well, let him say it. Then they're not pretentious necessarily. My my take is like if you rule out an entire genre, like if you say, like, 
oh, all country is crap, or all rap is crap, or all metal is crap, or all techno is crap, whatever, I think you're an idiot. <laughs> or a closed-minded yeah. fool. I mean, that's just... Yeah, that's just true. Oh, that's not really it. applicable. That, well, it's to be, really to be boring, thing. that's not applicable to just music. If you rule an entire... Like, out. Sub subcategory of anything as worthless. It's probably it's almost entire almost especially with music. It's almost entirely because you don't consume it yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That doesn't, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have value. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. I guess I didn't do hot enough. My bad. RJ, your turn. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Well, um, I don't. I still don't. <laughs> I did think of a hot take, and like within the past like three days, I'm like, oh, that's a great hot take. I you completely forgot it. Forgot it. Dude, I have a hot no. take for you if you want me to just give you your hot take. I have another. I, I can't I I have I more would you rather than I came out with myself. I, I think you're misinterpreting my uh, my take. Okay, my idea of your take is that you prefer micro USB plugs to USB C plugs. I do not. I just don't. I just don't dislike micro USB plugs. They're fine. Oh, that's still a hot take. <laughs> they are garbage. They are hot garbage, and we, we should be rid of. We should all do what the EU does did and say USB Cs only. <laughs> did they really ban them? Yeah, they 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 like inf they they're enforcing I, like a I remember hearing something like like they like they they banned like other charging cables, and Apple was just like, "We'll just pay the fine." Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> like, they're like, you have to pay a fine, and Apple was like, sure, you're, we're just going to pay the fine instead of converting anything. Yeah. <laughs> well, because like, a lot of their, a lot of their, Got a lot of their shit is just like, like, they, they, they make their own shit so that they can, you know. Yeah. Control it. Control That's it. kind of their whole yeah. deal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, that doesn't and, really surprise like me. That and all their stuff is already set up for like their own chargers yeah their own like their own chargers and like all like they would have to i they they would have to change more things than any other company yeah to yeah. convert to anything yeah exactly all right but also but also it makes them a lot like it probably makes them less money to <laughs> like they're probably they're probably like like net profit by forcing everyone to buy their chargers mm -hmm. and and just paying for the ability to do that yeah they definitely they they definitely like any decision a business makes they like they calculate the costs of each and then they just pick the cheaper mm -hmm. it's the same thing with like breaking the law but in any law any like like companies that like will pollute like, and then they'll have to pay a massive fine. It's not that they didn't know about that fine. It's that they predicted the cost and, like, doing the bad thing and paying the fine was cheaper than just not doing the bad thing. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, do we want to move on Which to... Is so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> do we want to move on to, uh, uh, react to dig to date my mom? I wish we had more for... This other th should we try for hot takes? We just didn't spend a lot of time with RJ's thing. Yeah, but I mean, we are. I mean, this we, episode we is try, long. fortunately, unfortunately. Well, we just were pressed for time, which is, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah, with only one week for prep. I have, I have other um, well, would you rather's, but I don't want to. I want to well, get no, RJ no the what I meant is them. we're pressed for time tonight because I think we spent. We spent like an almost an hour doing a in order minute. Yeah, actually, time. we would don't you know how long yours is going to take, so why, yeah, well, yeah, let's, let's give that a go. All right, all right. <laughs> we've never we've never reacted to anything before. I wonder how this is gonna go. But let's just let's just dive right in. This is Poorly. you'll hate it. Maybe it'll be a new <laughs> recurring segment. Yeah, just the maybe only... I'll just hate hate the thing George picked. Yeah, the only the only um preface I'll give is uh this was like in the early this is MTV right? Yeah, MTV sort of early two thousands. Um, and it's just like when they were just coming up with a bunch of nonsense reality tv um so this is a real show this is not meant yeah. to be a joke no, no, no well i mean it's i think it's meant to be a, it's meant to be a funny reality tv show and like all reality tv shows i would guess that it's largely staged but um uh -huh. 
But yeah, I found this on uh, because of uh, YouTuber sixteen Leo. So I guess shout out to him. But anyway, let's just jump in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. Um, what do we have to refresh or remake the room? Maybe. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Their son is the boy for me. I'm into guys who are hot, not guys who think they're hot. Time to date these mothers and find me a lover. Okay. <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> I'm I already say, I wouldn't Wait. want him dating my mom. <laughs> Wait, is this guy trying to date okay. people's sons? No, no, no. I, yeah, I don't know what he people's was saying. Moms. Like, I'm into guys that are too. I didn't get that part, but the premise of the show, as I know it, is they they date three different moms, and based on those dates with the moms, they decide which daughter they would like to to go out with on a second date. That's so fucking confusing. Yeah. And convoluted. <laughs> yeah. Is this his outfit? Is this the wait, is this the same guy from before or is this No, this like, is a different dude. Or is this the guy is... from before a host and then this is I don't think he was a host, but this is like a contestant. I think they or something. I'm not sure. I don't know who that first guy was, but I think the second guy is the contestant. But we'll we'll see, okay. I suppose. He has an interesting <laughs> I'm like ninety eight percent sure I would hate this guy. I'm Diana, I'm forty nine. <laughs> I'm Josh and I'm 21 and we're gonna win because we're freaky. Wait! Oh, it's the. Uh. I've been married for 28 wait. Years and I have four grade this is yeah, interesting. It's, the, it's. I think it's the first guy's mom. Interesting. I think this is a. I think it, the reason he was saying into guys that are hot. I think this is um the episode that I watched was heterosexual, but I believe this is homosexual. That makes a lot more sense with the intro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so so this is his mom, and his mom is choosing who he should date. Well, no, like no, the I other think guy, the guy at the beginning, the guy at the beginning, guy at the beginning is going to go on dates with three moms. Yeah, and that guy yeah, yeah. is going to decide which mom that he'd like to go out with the son of their kid. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm in the bondage, and if this boy picks me, I'll show him some freaky. All right. <laughs> other moms are ready to get spanked. All right. My ass hurts. <laughs> Why are we here? Wild oh. move. Wild move. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, not even how, gonna say however, however much they were getting paid, it wasn't enough. Or yeah. maybe they didn't need to get paid. Maybe they just like. Yeah, the they, did, they did it for the clout. <laughs> Yeah. The exposure. This is, a, this is an I mean, interesting time in chance. history. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Yeah. It's gonna be stellar. Bring on mom number one. Tell them that we're not the stereotypical family. You know, we're the Bundys, the Osborns, Roseanne. All the the Bundys? <laughs> Wait. The Bundys? Wait a minute. Like Ted Bundy? <laughs> That's not good to be. Begin to describe it. Walked around the block, have you? Okay. Walk, run, bent, twist, name it. <laughs> All right. He is open with. I thought I was open with my mom. He is open with his mom. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but holy Jesus. We once had a ride. <laughs> also, could be staged, but yeah, you know, there's always you that. Talk about the bondage a little bit. But I think we have to suspend oh disbelief. <laughs> that I'm the master. He's the bitch. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> okay, gotta go. Okay, give me a hug. All right. Go get him. Ah, fuck. I haven't even seen the other contestants. I'm not rooting for him already. <laughs> nice to meet you. So where are we going? Um, I'm really into yeah, I don't like him. So we're going into a car hop. <laughs> oh, a car hop. Okay, sounds good. I'm ready to go. Should I mention to Diana that she forgot her shoes? Jeremy's cute. Josh would bone him. <laughs> why? Why did so she? Who's who? I'm. I'm still confused. Jeremy's. Jeremy is the guy who's going out on these dates. Yeah, and Josh is her Josh. son. Josh is um bondage man. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool cars. That is a cool date idea. Yeah. Vintage car. So this is Gloria. She's a '69. It's my favorite year. Sick f I'm not surprised. So you ready to learn some swing dancing <laughs> I moves? I am. I am. I'm ready. The acting is top notch in this. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. So do your feet hurt at all from this? Oh, hell no. I never wear shoes. My feet are a shoe. 
Bottom like leather. What? <laughs> but, uh, what? <laughs> what? You never wear shoes? What if you're going on a gravel road or asphalt? This is her bot. Her fucking the bottom of her shoes are like leather, dude. Were you <laughs> fucking paying attention, <laughs> idiot? Isn't this LA? Yeah, that's that's terrible in LA. Also unhygienic. There's dirty needles around. It's a city. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Actually, I I did walk barefoot for like a couple miles in a major city. Why? Oh, that's because my shoes I'm, were getting busted. I, I have very oh. sensitive feet. I never, yeah, I would never. I never enjoyed walking barefoot. As, yeah, I, I as step a child. on a. I step on a pebble. It ruins my week. Like fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like. I didn't like walking barefoot on grass. Grass was too pointy for my feet. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, well, you're a weenie. I don't know what to tell you about grass. <laughs> Yeah, grass I could do. I would play like soccer. There's no on, hope for you. I'm okay. grass barefoot sometimes, so I'm, I'm you've lost me there, but <laughs> Sounds awesome. Perfect. This is an unironically really cool date spot though. Yeah. So what's your son's name? Josh. Tell me what I should know about Josh. He likes to go dancing, do a little bondage. He's got a shirt. Second 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 <laughs> second bullet point right there. Yeah. <laughs> what should you know about my son? Tell me what Josh looks like naked. Dancing? Uh Straight into bondage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dancing was actually, he barely even likes dancing. I was just excited to tell you about the bondage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just to get you. Give me cock length. <laughs> Josh is very, very tall. 6'2. Perfect, perfect body. Um, Weird to say about your son. Have a perfect body. Uh, also, don't even if your son did have you're a perfect a, you're body. You're a fucking lying bitch. <laughs> don't don't come. Just I'm gonna I'm gonna say blanket rule. Don't don't talk about don't talk about uh, any of your offspring's perfect bodies, regardless of how perfect they actually are. He wears and people call him Neo. He looks like Keanu Reeves. I'm strangely turned on right now. Does he go out on a lot of dates? <laughs> me too. Me too. He looks like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> that is a questionable endorsement. Yeah. That's his friend. That's interesting. I disagree. Sometimes there's a residue that, you know, marks that somebody was his friend. Ah. If I asked him, would he tell me how many people he's had sex with in the past month? Yes, sir. I think he said infinity. What? I think he said. How about you? <laughs> this 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 date does not seem to be going well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a horrible <laughs> answer. <laughs> Infinity. Infinity. I'm conservative. Not like, not even. It's like, are we still talking about sexual partners? <laughs> yeah. It's like, uh, I think you're in the wrong reality TV show, my dude. Oh. I've, I've had sex oh. with zero people. I hate you, George. <laughs> this is so off. This is so insanely awkward, too. Like yeah. this point. It's I'm like, gonna, ooh, I oh. have hiccups now. This is the worst. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really awesome sound. He just likes to slip it in the air. Makes a cool noise. Are you a good bitch? No. What the hell? Does your son have that's a what I'm saying, bud. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're all saying. Jeremy, you deserve someone nicer. Go, go, yeah. Do you think you could show me some of his moves? Little bit of Josh. Little bit of Josh. Uh. Little bit of Josh. Little bit of Josh. Uh. This is horrible. Yeah, you do that, don't you, boy? I don't think he no. does. I don't think he swings that way. I think that's the whole point. Oh, she's she's confident though. Gotta love it. Did I say anything bad? Did you say yes. anything? Did you say no good? No, 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 no. You said, <laughs> she, you said, she said nothing that infinity sex in the last. She said nothing that was un... no, 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 no. The mom did was fine. She said nothing that this shoes. guy didn't. She said nothing that he didn't tell her to say. Yeah, I guess that, this, this is on this Josh. is all on Josh. This Josh, is on Josh. Josh, <laughs> Josh is too out there. I think for for our boy Jeremy. Yeah, they're just not a good. Match. I think she, she sounds fun to hang out with though. She just seems not... like a cool mom. Just not in this context. Yeah. yeah. The huge thing is weird, Dude, but I think that's, to, that's like, kind of impressive, the actually. Or something after <laughs> he came around. Oh, this is an indoor shoe household. Please wear these slippers. Yeah. Me <laughs> too. Jeremy just lied. Bye. Now we know Jeremy's a liar. Yeah. No, he he had a good time. I don't know if I can submit to that. Oh. On to mom number two. Hey. Mom, hey, what's up? What? Wow. <laughs> On to mom number two. Anyway, let's let's, let's not do that. Swing dancing. 
he wanted to know how you dance. Mm -hmm. So I kind of danced on him a little bit. I was leaning back, giving him some stuff. Mom, I should have told you I get first touch. Did you talk about the bondage at all? Well, he didn't seem to be as experienced as you, and he's not quite as inventive as you. Oh, I have to break him out of a shell. There you go. Sweet. I can count on you. Oh, okay, this guy so gives me creep vibes. You me to I, I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> like Perfect. We got it. We got it. Love you. Woo. I think he's perfect for this show specifically. Yeah. I, I just have to pray he's not like this in real life. Yeah. He is. He's got to be embellishing. Yes, absolutely. I want. I want there to be an episode of one of these where um. Oh, the contestant the just dates the mom instead of the daughter. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not really yeah. into your daughter, but uh, you're kind of cute, to be honest. <laughs> you got some nice, um, tough souls. Yeah. I gotta be fully like honest letter. with you. I am, ab I am very into older women. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is terrible. Did this person rewind and then, sorry, yeah. fast forward too far? <laughs> <and then> yeah. <laughs> you can cut this out, uploader. I don't know. Bridget Cornelius. Just so you know, you can trim, even in the YouTube editor, you can. You don't even have to do it out of the app. Like, all right. <laughs> uh, two wonderful kids, actually. <laughs> I know that's weird, but whatever. I know this guy's gonna pick us because my mom's the. You heard? <laughs> well, if he's if he's a horn dog, he's probably not gonna pick you based off of that rizzle, thing you said, right? Watch out for sizzle. Yeah. <laughs> You're completely anti-sex. But well, we're pretty sure he's not he's not a huge horn dog though. Yeah, he's not a huge horn dog, but being completely anti-sex is is kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. <laughs> be really loud, be funny, and talk ghetto. For shiz, what? Wait, why does she? Why does he want her to, oh, yeah. to talk ghetto? That was horrible. What is Content. happening? <laughs> what am I gonna tell him about your job? Engagement with the youth. Please don't tell him that I don't have a job. I look like such a freaking loser. Tell him that my job is to chauffeur people around. I think that's pimp. Okay, what? Lie, <laughs> lie on the first date. Build a relationship on a foundation of lies. <laughs> I think the other guy was suffering from too much truth, so this is an interesting tag. Yeah. <laughs> Bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> None of these people are off. any good. <laughs> we could That's win why the they're show. on the show, RJ. <laughs> Hi, I'm I don't like the music choices. <laughs> Just nitpicking everything. This is a terrible house. <laughs> what? Oh, it's so awful. I, 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 I just... <laughs> Oh, I can't, oh my gosh. I can't believe the show isn't still going on. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, Keep up, you, RJ. Come on. The show is still fire. airing? No, no, no. I can't or, believe the show is not still oh, airing. Oh, I'm going to take a picture of you in front of Oh, not still airing. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said it was still airing. No. I was about to lose my fucking mind. <laughs> it's been going on for 15 years strong. <laughs> It's time for us to take a picture together. Put your arms around me, baby. You are learning nothing I, about I her guess son. I just didn't realize how much of a nightmare era <laughs> the early 2000s were. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a whole st a whole segment or series, just like going through uh, old 2000s TV. <laughs> no, that's okay. Let's go talk about Nick. Oh. Let's go talk about horrible Nick. fucking like, apocalypse <laughs> did we go through. These music choices and transitions yes. are giving me whiplash. Yeah. Or Britney Spears. Christina. Yeah. He got that right at least. I like it dirty. Nick really has a thing. I thought he wanted to yeah, he wanted Britney. A gay guy who likes Britney Spears? Shocker. So what does Nick do for a living? <laughs> uh, Actually, like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. I think Britney is very big in the gay community. Like taking people wherever they want to go. Oh. You know, wherever. Aren't they both incredibly famous? I don't know. Right now, I don't. He, Britney's more famous though, you know, for sure. Goals as far as um, 
Like they're both very I think famous. They were, I think at that time they were both like top like pop singers. <laughs> That's true, but Britney was like Britney was uh, huge, huge, right? You? That's my interpretation yeah. at least. Are you into are you into sex a lot? What do you mean? Like having <laughs> sex. Are you into that? <laughs> you know. I mean you know. <laughs> I mean yeah. Capital S E X. <laughs> she should be leaning into the a lot, not the set. Are you into having a job? <laughs> Do you, do you like, remember the last like, guy? Did you remember the last guy who was your potential date? Are you anything like him? Yeah. Are you anything are, are, like a, a person named Josh? Are you at all into sex? And do you sex like? Are, are you into sex or, and or do you like partners who have a job? Because both of those are a no go with my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! I've had sex before, but I wouldn't say I'm into just sex. Because um. My son says that, you know, he's not into that part of it. Yeah, so, but I, he just, you know, I... Has Nick ever had sex before? No, he hasn't. A gay virgin? I've never heard of that. Well, what? Really frisky Bonnie. What? A great time is that offensive? On a date. But are you ready? <laughs> what do you mean, is that offensive? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? Maybe it's just dated. I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, he's, he's gay. It's like... I... No. But, but like, yeah, let's try. how have you never, like, gay virgin, heterosexual virgins, like, you have, you have to be a virgin at some point, right? Yeah. I mean, that, that, is, that, baby. that is the, that is the I think, default I think state. maybe, yeah. maybe at, at, at the point where you're, like, you know you're gay, I guess. Kind of living, yeah. Or out. You're kind of living your own life. Mm, and, mm. like, like. I would say at 19, that's not that outlandish. Yeah, I mean, maybe that, I, wait, that what was this, the nineties? Maybe that was a different time. Outland. I I don't know. I I don't know the like 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 average age that gay people lose their virginity. Is it lower than like, heterosexual? It might be lower. I know. I I I'm like ninety eight percent sure. Um, gay guys have more sex than anyone else in the world. That kind of, I mean, it kind of, or at least it, anyone else in America. Th there is at least, there's at least like that. So the, I would assume the, that correlates to a lower, to a lower average. I mean, we kind of like, touched on it earlier that that stereotype when we were talking about nymphomaniacs. It's just that the stereotype is that you know guys guys want think about sex more often and want it more or whatever. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that's true, but I'm just that's sort of the stereotype. So it does go along with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. It seems to align. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, like I think. Yeah, I think that's. I don't the, know though. That's that's the kind of like the correlation. Room. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that, like the kind of like the re like the reasoning behind it. Also, George, before you unpause it, it occurs to me that I don't know how our audio sounds when we are talking at the same time it is playing. So maybe if we do have comments, maybe. We, yeah, we I know should. we're trying to. We already. This is going to take a while, but should we try to save our comments for pauses? A little Instead bit. Trying to talk a little over bit. it. Yeah, when we talk over it, we are we are louder. So yeah, I guess keep that in mind. I'll try to pause. Okay, yeah, I just don't know how. I just don't know whether we they can peep it. What can like, we but... pause it to say something? I believe you can. Let's try. Oh, it. Let's try. Oh, that's okay. too much. That's too much been... power. Let's try. Someone else pause it. Yeah. I just paused it. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. So if anyone wants to say anything, pause first. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't pause again. I just started playing it. I hope he picks Nick. I had a really great time on our date. And so did He's definitely not going to pick Nick. <laughs> you haven't seen the third person, though. And so did I. And That's then, true. If they're, if, they're, if, if they're even worse than Nick. Nick is the better of the first two. Christine was all, I yeah, think. that's true. But her son sounds kind of... What? On to my next mom date. <laughs> Nick, Nick. Mom. I had such the... Why <laughs> this is a really weird what? segment. The like going to the um the like going to the mom and their kid like yeah. talking about the date after the date is very strange. And it's also so weird and like obviously planned like you have a camera crew filming you. you we know you weren't just playing pool or playing the accordion by yourself. Like it's it's very yeah. uh, disingenuous. Yeah. Nick Nick mom mom <laughs> like he's surprised. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, you know like, what you're there for. Idiot.
Also, it is funny. I like though, Nick time. more than I, I. Yeah, I do like Nick more than I like Josh. I wouldn't. But, I wouldn't date much. either one. But yeah, I, one yeah, of them no. doesn't. One of them doesn't uh, make me concerned for my safety. Yeah, I'll let you figure yeah. out who that is. It's a great time. Let me tell you. What's his name? His name is Jeremy. We did a photo shoot, and he dressed up as Clyde, and I got to dress up as Bonnie. Did you make me look better than I was? Like I told you, did you make sure you told me every <laughs> lie I told you before that I had a job? Maybe, maybe instead of telling people who are setting you up to make you look better than you are, maybe just work on yourself. <laughs> Like that's <laughs> just my yeah, you thought. fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, nowadays we just have apps to write write the lies ourselves. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I really hope this. I really hope this third guy is decent and not like <laughs> the like, bar is what, the bar is so low. We yeah. see two like wild like ends of the spectrum. Is there so gonna be a low. third? Is there gonna be a third end of? <laughs> Is there going to be a third end I haven't considered yet? Yeah. Waiting for us with date the, number three. The triple prong spectrum. <laughs> Let's see the other prong. <laughs> um, and I'm like such a tight little kid, kid, like, and stuff. I have a believing that you were a driver and <laughs> a chauffeur, yeah, big pimpin. Yeah. Most important thing. Why does he? I'm sorry, I keep pausing. Why does, Why does he, he think being a chauffeur yeah. is cool? That's not it's cool not. at all. <laughs> this is not cool. It's like being a butler. I, it's like, is it is it cooler than not having a job? Yes, yes, it is. That's true. <laughs> but it's like if it you're depends, gonna maybe lie, maybe it depends if you're who's you're driving around. If you're gonna lie, just say you work for fucking like YouTube. Oh well, I guess this is who knows what year this is. Say you work for IBM <laughs> or something. Or say you work for YouTube and people don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, YouTube. Oh, it's a small what? company. You don't know it yet. Yeah, yeah, it'll be huge in a decade. Like, <laughs> say, say you say you're actually running a startup business. <laughs> yeah, say anything other than you're a a a, a driving butler. No yeah. offense to any chauffeurs. I I I, I drive. Uh, Not, no DoorDash, offense to any so. chauffeurs, but you fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, we just completely alienated our entire chauffeur audience. <laughs> oh no. Baskin, I asked him oh, what the answer was. Stop, stop, stop. My heart is panting. Christina. Oh. <laughs> you're so wrong. I think that I'm sexy. I think you'll think you're hot. hot. I love you. I love you too, son. Aw. Oh, God. Hold the moment. Oh, more ads. That was so fucking <laughs> cringe. That was so cringe. <laughs> Have we gone this entire time without calling it cringe? That's That yeah. must be your... <laughs> record i honestly don't like using that word but i mean that's kind of the point of this whole segment yeah it's a, i think we can be more creative with our vocab than yeah that. secondhand well, embarrassing. embarrassing yeah secondhand embarrassment uh, that was that it was embarrassing to watch yeah i've completely yeah. dissociated from this i don't like <laughs> that's the only way to get through it yeah <laughs> this is wild i'd actually like to pause on this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what she uses to work out this weird chair <laughs> that just flops you around like a fish. How do you get out? <laughs> you don't. That's why you get what so toned, that? you can never leave. You're trapped in the chair. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jesus. Bridget. Bridget. Just cut this it is out. actually a trip through time. Is, is this Holy an shit. advertisement for a better show? Probably. Mission Impossible Three. This message will now self-destruct. Damn. Oh no, this is it for a movie. <laughs> yeah, a better movie than this show. <laughs> yeah. And I'm normal, so I win. <laughs> Wait, is this the same mom from the first? <laughs> it's, her, it's her sister. <laughs> <laughs> there's a very specific is there's this, a very specific is this Jeremy wearing a wig she's even wearing like a similar outfit like that's basically <laughs> what the first what mom are you was talking wearing. what do you mean the the outfit of that mom is like almost identical to the outfit of the first mom oh yeah yeah I thought you said he no sorry I might have by accident I meant she Daniel is so happy and loving and he loves to please people <laughs> she's she sounds like she's reading from a script they all are, RJ. Yeah, it's, it's entirely scripted for sure. The outcome possibly 
could not be, but I think. Wait, I bet sorry, one second. Alchemist. How many are there? It's, it's just three, three, right? Yeah, three. This okay, is the thank last God. Boy. This is the last Why boy. Earth do you like your guys? <laughs> I don't know because it's fun to play with. What did she say? What did he say? What he likes hairy guys. Oh, then she said, "Why oh, on earth hair. do you like hairy guys?" She definitely didn't get. He definitely didn't get that from her, I guess. Yeah, I I do not like, I do not like hair even on myself, like body hair. I don't I like can be convinced. About your yeah. dad for years. <laughs> uh, mom, don't say that. <laughs> also ask him if he's. I already. This guy's already why seems like the important? best. Yeah. Just make sure that he's uncircumcised. It's not important why. Just... Okay. What if he asks me how many boyfriends you've had? Don't tell him the exact number. That'd be quite a lot. Just tell him, uh... <laughs> I don't want to know any of the details. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> He's here. Well, remember, Mom. Harry, uncut. Okay. Very... He knows his taste, so I'll give him that. Hi. I'm Janet. I'm Jeremy. Nice to meet you. So what going? a wild oh, thing to bring up on a first date. Yeah. So, <laughs> penis. You still got your foreskin, bro? <laughs> Let's talk about your penis. If you don't have that foreskin, then I'm out of here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I haven't been pausing. Hopefully this son will fit just right. Tell me something about your son. His name is Daniel and he's- Ooh. That looks yummy. I picked Mongolian because my friends Ooh. and I eat it every day after school. Every I day? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're sick of that shit. No, we need to talk about that, Con. <laughs> oh, okay. How are you not sick of that shit already? Every day after school? a fuck ton school? of food. Yeah, for just That's so much. what budget, you Jeremy? You can go through basically every reasonable combination, like, <laughs> well, they... like within a semester. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but um, well, it's a lot of food, but they gotta they gotta also feed the crew, so that kind of makes sense. <laughs> However much they're paying you for this, it's not enough to feel your terrible eating habits, Jeremy. They care. Like if you're gonna pick a, if you're gonna every pick a, day, if you're gonna pick a country to have every day, Mongolian's not a bad country. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, it's just I, it's more the fact that it's the, it's a price point of just prepared yeah, food. Yeah, after that's true. school. Yeah, that's probably that's that's yeah. implying that he it's not even f serving the purpose of a meal. But I mean, he's he's like maybe he has a Mongolian friend who prepares. He probably has like them. look look at no, him. He probably no. eats like two bites of it. No, I think he has rich parents. Is what he has. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Okay, you know what? That tracks. We could do it in true Mongolian couture. Oh, good. Or alternatively, I'm ready. the um. What is well, the production crew it, completely it made up this thing. Uh, <laughs> they, they, or like the, or not the production crew, but like the producers were like, well, this time it's gonna do be a food date. Yeah. Uh, name a food mm. and like. <laughs> Here's some funny hats. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, say you love it the most or whatever or something like. <laughs> mm hmm. What does Daniel look like? Well, he didn't want me to tell you like this, but he's six foot two, eyes of blue, beautiful smile, and broad shoulders, too. Wow! He likes guys with hair. Good. Why did he seem so mad at that? <laughs> yeah. No, he no, he was just impressed, but he's... <laughs> wow! His, his Are brain you is probably... Me? His you brain is where our... Yeah, that's... The, <laughs> like, look at his face. <laughs> that yeah. dude, dude seemed... Yes. Yeah, no, he, he he's he's completely dissociating like we are. Beautiful smile and He's just not a good actor, I think is the real <laughs> They're like, okay, this time go for impressed and he's like, Wow and they're like, fuck it, uh, whatever. You know, yeah. that, that was definitely that's prompted. Spot on. I that was prompted. Spot on. Yeah. I agree. It's just it's just he's not a good actor and they thought that that would be somehow better than like <laughs> A genuine reaction. <laughs> yeah, and it was it was funny. So yeah, they, they got us there. Score one them. <laughs> Score one producers. He yeah. And he likes the happy trail. Do you have a happy trail? I do. I oh, do have a happy boy. trail. Oh yeah, I can see that. I wear big shoes. So do you think Daniel can handle that? 
Big shoes. Does that mean what I think it means? No. He's yes. Just, no. <laughs> means he's a clown. <laughs> yeah. But they're all clowns, actually, if you're on the show. It's so, just like sorry. he's gonna he's gonna have less space on the shoe rack. That's what he's talking about. So. <laughs> yeah. Also, it's probably gonna smell worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> super into foot play. <laughs> Not Ooh. the worst thing yeah. on this show. Twelve and a half? Hmm. <laughs> Twelve and a half. Ooh. Is Daniel in my space? <laughs> you just said the exact same thing twice, Jeremy. God damn it, Jeremy. On my space? Busy. Fuck. Yeah, this is 2000s, baby. <laughs> what a wild. I, mean, I think I saw 206 time. or something. Oh, it's 06? Yeah, when one of the ads. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean that that tracks MySpace was still. When did MySpace end? Well, MySpace was like Too competing soon. with Facebook came out in 04 and MySpace continued competing with it until like at least like 2008ish, I think. Yeah. No. Oh, that sounds right. No. Hits on it. What does he have on his MySpace? He has a picture that I've seen of him holding his shirt up and showing his abs. Boys into MySpace. Don't get into MySpace. Where does he go to school? He goes uh, to that was school. incredibly dumb. He wants to be a math teacher. I like that. All right, well, let's go sit down and see. Wait, he has actual education and, like, career goals? Holy shit. I think he might be the one. Yeah. I think Daniel's the one. Yeah. He's the only one who's even, like, I hope I'm not around normal. <laughs> not that there was anything wrong with the abnormal fellas, but, I mean... I it's mean, okay. you're, the Daniel, as far as I'm, I can tell, Daniel's coming off as only a little bit of a hoe. Yeah. And not yeah. dorky at all. And not, and not like a um, complete... A dorky chauffeur. Just, <laughs> yeah. Devoid of all personality and ambition. Yeah. I, I, think, I think Daniel is That's actually fine. going to be disappointed in Jeremy, though, because I think Daniel's looking... I think they're too similar. I think Daniel's looking for a bear. Yeah. He's looking for me, but unshaven. <laughs> <laughs> I really want you to try some tofu. Okay. Ever tried it before? No. I hate tofu. Are you Side note. To taste? I'm anxious. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you don't like it? Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm with her. It's not that I'm bad. I'm ah. sorry. Tofu can be good. Maybe a smaller piece would have been better. It's just so the texture is so off to me. Jeremy's hot and he's got a happy trail. Daniel's gonna love him. <laughs> I had a really great time on our date. I did too, and I really hope you pick Daniel. I'll think about it. You better. Bye. That sounded like a threat. Yeah. <laughs> and it might have been. Yeah. <laughs> and I might want to try some new things with their son. I don't know. Now it's time to make a decision. They're getting into the same car, aren't they? How did it go? <laughs> did you see that? It looked like she was driving off in the same car that he was getting into. She went into the house. Oh, oh, okay. So that's just a shot of him driving away and walk. Okay, yes. sorry. I, I misinterpreted that. My bad. This show is perfect. No flaws. That'd be so funny if they immediately, like, drove off together. <laughs> into the sunset <laughs> okay sorry before you unpause it whose hair is this who has his hair um, this is some character or some actor or some um the guy didn't they i can't i can't don't I can't know pick it up i don't know no i don't know it's lost on me never mind mongolian barbecue food and got me to eat tofu fine is he mongolian like <laughs> No, he's not Mongolian. He's hot. He's really hot. So he's... Uh, <laughs> uh, I know that's so he's not white. That's <laughs> super important to me, Mom. <laughs> that, that was also very Holy weird shit. phrasing. A third end of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> that's also very, very weird phrasing. No, he wasn't Mongolian. He was hot. Those are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was more, no, he's not Mongolian. He's the farthest thing from Mongolian. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Which is hot. No, I'm just <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, good enough for me, right? <laughs> yeah, he's good enough for you. You would love to be seen out with him. He's got big feet. 
He told me he wears an 11 and a half and he wanted to know if you could handle it. I can handle it. So mom, like, how do you think we did? Do you think we're gonna win? Yeah, we are gonna win. Thank you you so are much. gonna win. Yeah, you're right. Every mom Every, thinks that they're gonna The bar win. was so low. Yeah, but she's actually right. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hope she's right. Yeah. I brought everyone to the beach today to find out which son is the chosen one. Holy shit. That jacket does not look good on him at all. Stop <laughs> showing the so same bad. angles. And with that <laughs> dopey look on his face. God, this is a horrible he's, outfit. <laughs> he's in a fugue state. He's not, like, fully conscious, I have to believe. Yeah, he was on copious amounts of drugs. <laughs> Neither of them. Yeah, he's on copious amounts of copium. Yeah. The MTV era was... A time. Perfect. That was fucking <laughs> wild. All right, let's see who wins. Good to see you, Diana. She's wearing shoes! If Jeremy picks she lied! Josh, I know those two are gonna do something. Well, she's definitely not- he's not picking you, you're a liar. What's up, Jeremy? Not much, Christine. Shoes! What these other mothers think they be? I got this. You very much do not. Nice to see you too, Janet. I've seen these other sons, and they're not as cute as my Daniel. I mean, she's not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel's hot. I don't care what women think about me, but I'm about to make two moms very upset. I mean, assuming they're that invested. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which they probably aren't. <laughs> Diana? Oh no, my son doesn't I think get I just had a stroke. You. Right back at you. I had a great time. <laughs> Christine, I knew there was a bad girl in there somewhere. Thanks for such a memorable date. I had a great time. Janet, the Mongolian yeah, TV is so. I, was really I don't know. Impressed by your willingness to try something new. Well, thank you. I had a great time. It's time to rain men. Let's go. <laughs> Diana, I love that Josh is such a free spirit. But he I'm sucks. For something a little more meaningful. I do not want to date your son. Big mistake. Wait till you see what you're missing out on. This is my gorgeous son, Josh. Josh isn't gorgeous at all. <laughs> you are scared. You are scared. Josh is definitely the best that's actor. The face of, that's the face of a guy who's like, man, I'm really glad I made the decision I just did. <laughs> this looks like this, this, the intro like storyline to a supervillain or something. <laughs> Even look like, <laughs> This is oh my it's it's kind of similar to like the, the, the bad guy from Iron Man 3. <laughs> he literally doesn't look like, like he's trying to he's a like, man Tony <laughs> Tony snubs him. Tony snubs him and he gets really mad about it. Oh this does not look like a seduction face. This is a I'm gonna get you face. <laughs> that's the that's one and the same for him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> No wonder he ties everyone up. It's to keep him from running away. <laughs> Roasted. I wish they kept I, I wish they kept rolling the camera for <laughs> yeah. like five seconds so after you said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so funny if they had it if they had him say that to their face. Yeah, and then he just fucking decks him. Oh. <laughs> And he gets out his bullwhip and takes his eye out. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so glad Nick's going back to school, but I can't really get behind a guy who doesn't want to have sex. I do not want to date your son. You suck. Meet my bootylicious son, Nick. A little harsh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a frame. <laughs> George has muted himself, I think. No, no, I think it's just his noises were like, by his mic. It's like these yeah. people, it's like these like these two guys are actively trying to reinforce Jeremy's decisions. I think that's the pro I think that's true. <laughs> what is that face getting out for the first time seeing a potential suitor? <laughs> what was he expecting? It's like he, he actively tried to lose. I, I don't get it. Yeah. 
my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I think he looks fine. Yeah, he just look. He just makes some questionable he's decisions. Just, he's just peculiar. Didn't present himself properly, and also went all in on hey, lie for me. Yeah. <laughs> I love. I, I have nothing I, going on. Yeah. Oh. I just, just the look. Just the look. Jeremy came. <laughs> it's Jeremy, right? He's the like. The chooser. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy's the chooser. Keep up, yeah. RJ. Yeah. <laughs> the show is important. <laughs> it doesn't help that it started with Josh and Jeremy. Track the plot gay lines. Gay. Yeah. There's <laughs> real character um, development in the show. The face, yeah. he, the, the face he gave was the fucking harshest burn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, like, basically gagged. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't oh know. I, I thought I thought Nick's frame you paused on was pretty good. That yeah, was, that was that, was that might have been the frame. best good scene for me. Yeah. All right, let's let's bang through. Let's finish this. Yeah. Even though Daniel Cruz is we son, called it. The fact that he's career minded really turns me on. I do want to date your son. All right, Jeremy. Now you can meet my awesome son, Daniel. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guy. Go with a skinny tie. That's all I'm gonna say. If, if, uh, were they if were that was that a thing then? I don't know. It should it, it has to have been. In, in the early two thousand, yes. It might not have been it might have not have been popular back then. But if you got a skinny frame, go skinny tie. That's all I'm saying. I get the I biggest tie. Yeah, that's a very find. skinny frame. You what know you, what they say what? about big ties. Did, what are you talking about? Right? This guy? Oh, I, I did two back. I you skipped two. back too far. Don't yeah. make me watch more. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. This. I do want to date your son. All right, Jeremy. Now you can meet my awesome. Like it's not like he's lanky, but he's like got, uh, you know, I mean that is not a wide set man. <laughs> That's his dad's. Time. Yeah, no. Yeah. Cut him a break. So. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, he's not that like. He's not. He's not lanky, but he's. He's. They've all got small frames. All four boys. All right. Happy uh, ending. Okay. He looks really stupid. I think the only person that looked really stupid in this episode was you, buddy. <laughs> yes, I, I really. I do like Nick's faces. Yeah, yeah, that's that true. That was so funny. That was so funny. <laughs> I like how they completely sell the plot when of like, I didn't want to date him anyway. Ugh. Yeah. So, what do we think of Date My Mom? Out of 10, what would you give it? Uh, I mean, I gotta be honest, as far as entertainment value goes... Yeah, it was weirdly entertaining. In, in, in this scenario specifically, where we are watching it together and... Making dunking on it, it. yeah it was perfect yeah yeah <laughs> 10 out of 10 <laughs> and i gotta believe there's worth there's gotta be worse shows that came out in this era so i gotta take keep that in mind of like when it, of the of the it, it's competition i suppose so yeah. 10 yeah. out of 10 with regards yeah. to that wait till i make you watch moment of truth that, that, that show has, uh, <laughs> this show has nothing on that show <laughs> wait till wait till i make you watch the douche and the nerd <laughs> No, no, that's we're saving that for um an anniversary or something, right? Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, the, sc 20... the scary episode. Halloween 2025. <laughs> because George and RJ will die. Be dead by yeah. the be, be dead by end. the end of the show. It'll be. It'll an... just be in memoriam. Ryobi. <laughs> Ryobi we're head be dead in three years. If I, if I took a shit. Yeah. How many shits will you take from now to October? Certainly small amount of shit. Yeah, it takes you like takes you like an hour. <laughs> it only take me like. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Anyway, so I guess. Uh, I guess does anyone have anything else? Any final comments? Okay, yeah. As we said before, just a reminder: uh, we're not doing that uh, the next two weeks, but then we'll be back on our regular schedule. Um, after, after we that. might end up also changing from Thursdays, but I'm sure we'll try to communicate that at, in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, that'll probably be like, yeah, end of August. It's, 
Or, yeah, or it's not like we have it's not like we have a um a regular audience anyway at the yeah. moment. So maybe yeah, get in the forums much. if you wanna. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, check also out. let us let us know if um streaming the entire an, an entire episode of a show from the early two thousands is actually gonna get us flagged on YouTube or something. I don't. I think <laughs> the the fair use thing is like as long as we're commentating over it, like that's what the whole H three big case was about. Like as long as there's like as long as there's as long as you are changing it enough with your commentary, like um you're you're protected by uh, fair use. So gotcha. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, check us out on YouTube. Well, I hope we changed it one. enough. <laughs> yeah, I think like pausing oh, it and commentating, commentating is is enough of a change. What if we get the, the what movie. if we get sued? <laughs> we will. That'd be fucking dope. Because <laughs> then MTV we get publicity. Comes, MTV comes at us for for like twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> then we just we just win the case. That's all we gotta do. We just gotta win the case. <laughs> yeah, we can be our own lawyers. Yeah, we'll self-represent. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a couple episodes before that of like we we'll each t- we'll each and tackle we'll make on TV twenty thousand dollars afterwards. <laughs> no, we just gotta we just gotta have a couple episodes of the podcast where you each make some powerpoints on different aspects of how to win a defend case. a case in court. Yeah, yourself. Also, I watch a lot of true yourself crime. The legal system. I watch a lot of true crime. I probably could already win. Let's be honest. <laughs> Well, there's act, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. Like, okay, so the strategy I'm gonna go into, I'm going to go into the next court date is, is uh, whenever the <laughs> lawyer tries to stop, we the, shout over what, them. What's the what's the term for the like the suing party? Uh, plaintiffs? No. Maybe I think I think it's plaintiffs. that sounds right. It's that and defendant, right? Yeah. Yeah. Probably we don't even Plaintiff know. Plaintiff is definitely something that's there. <laughs> yeah, for some reason. Yeah, I think. Well, I think defendant is only criminal. Maybe I'm not even sure. Oh, I can't. Re- I don't know. <laughs> we don't even know this. Right. Uh, we really rely on whenever. Anything, whenever the plaint- <laughs> plaintiff's team attempts to say anything. I will just simply start screaming the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> I will simply drown them out. I will simply blow an therefore, air horn. <laughs> therefore, nullifying their arguments. Yeah. If the stenographer can't hear him to write it down, it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Check Just got to run down the time on the play clock. Uh, yeah. Fool, fool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, you have to convict me by a certain. Like, yeah. You have a right a to a date. speedy trial. Otherwise, I'm free to go. <laughs> yeah. You have a right constitutionally to a, a quick. A quick and fair trial. Four quarters. <laughs> two timeouts. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps. A trial can last, last no longer than five hours. In the duration of an American football game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With commercial break. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> like ridden into the law. All right, the Rams game is starting now. The case starts now. Yeah. Oh, you made a good argument. The case but, uh... cannot last any longer than a football. <laughs> that was a good a argument, game. but I'm not going to be able to allow it. The uh, Rams Lions game is over, so so is this case. <laughs> Get out of my courtroom. <laughs> Get out of my courtroom. <laughs> Losers. <laughs> Patriots are coming on at six. <laughs> Cool. But anyway, check out our check out the podcast on YouTube. Three heads are worse than yeah, one. George make some good clips of our, the actually <laughs> bits where we're funny. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to sit through yeah. two, so two you don't hours. Have to listen to the rest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You gotta we gotta witness how the magic happens in order to fully appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. IMO. But George goes does good stuff. Good editing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll be back in two weeks on Ryobi's channel. But other yeah. than that, I guess uh, good night. Two weeks yeah. or three? Oh, I guess three, three weeks. weeks. Three weeks. Three or weeks. taking two off. Two, yeah. two off weeks of in three weeks. My yeah, bad. Two off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It'll be in August. All right. Cool, cool. Later, skaters. Later.